hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Hey guys. I, hold on, I need to just plug in this phone because I talked it to death again today. It's usually what I do every day. All right, we are good to go. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming in. T, you look very rested. Were you hanging out with Edna today by the pool? I wish I could say I was hanging out with Edna today by the pool, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Schreiker. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. Good I'm night. rested. I've been running, running, running all day, but that's okay. Story of my life. Should we say hello, hello to our friends? Woo. I feel like once I sit here, when we go live, I can finally just stop for a minute. I just need to stop for a minute. This is your break time going live. It really is, believe it or not. It's like my break time because I've been running all day. Between shipping and personal life and teenagers and oh my goodness gracious. Nance P, first one in the house. Hello, Nance. Personal life. That's okay. We, <laughs> happens to the best of us. You guys, I pinned it on the top. It's on the top, right, Shriker? Did I pin it? Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Just making sure. Wheels and deals. Hello, Donna T. Shriker and chat. Thank you for being here, Wheels and Deals. Hi, Wheels and Deals. Hey, Dora. Hi, sweetheart. James Hi, Cisco. Thank you, James. Thank you for paying the shipping on your order. Appreciate it. Oh, I just put on a pot of coffee and it's making that noise, you know, when it's like done percolating. So yeah, baby, a cup of coffee coming my way. Hi, Dees. Junebug, hello to my lovely friends. Nothing better than being with resellers and community on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, Junebug. It was nice chatting with you today. Yes, Patrick, we can see you on Facebook. <laughs> just me didn't he just like hang up two seconds ago like ran off the phone <laughs> like a lunatic <laughs> look at t she's like bouncing all around she's like rare to go Guess you know what i had such a great day here at the store with organizing and straightening up like i'm kind of proud of myself at what i got done today do you My want to is a mess <laughs> Do you want to show what? us what you got no, done? No, because I'm going to carry my laptop all through the now. No, but I, I, I probably will, before I leave on Thursday, I probably will do a video just to kind of how far I've come since, you know, day one. So to hey, speak. Shell UK. Time to buy and, some more stuff, right? And then when I come back, <laughs> look out. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hello, hello. Let's Maddie. Just say I spent some money today. I know that's what she said to me to when, when we got on, on in the back room. She's like, and the minority in it is four thousand comics. Oh my god, that's crazy. Well, the comic people are gonna love you for sure. <sighs> Shriker sent you an email. D says, I'll look at it after the stream. Susan, that was a pleasant little surprise that you bought something from my eBay store. Thank you so much. I hope you like them. Sent those out today. When I went to print out the shipping label, I was like, what is she doing, that crazy girl? Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Well, look who's here. Hi, oh, Miss Jennifer. It's beautiful Jennifer Hayes. Hi, Jennifer. I've been saying beautiful Jennifer Hayes forever and ever. I think and we ever. both have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in, sweetheart. Good to see you. Jenny, I miss you, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. I got to get Lava Lamp Live back up and running. Maybe tonight. We'll see. Haven't decided yet. Lindsay Ann, hello, hello. You guys, you know, I don't like to run it when I'm not here at the cottage. So, because um, I'm always afraid of fire. And since I still don't have. I'm not going to say it out loud. 
Lindsay, I didn't say thank you to you the other night when we got off when you were helping modding with Schreiker. And I always feel so bad when I don't say thank you when someone helps us mod. So thank you. Mwah. Thank you, sweetheart. It was really nice of you to help out. D. Hewitt, hello, hello. Greens Vintage, I hope you're well, Greens Vintage. I know last week you made a little comment that life was a little bit complicated, so... We all have a little bit of a complicated life. Hi, Jill. Yeah. Hello, Jill. Welcome in. Pat D's. Jim, driving home. Be in the chat in 30 minutes. Hello. Be careful, Jim. He all right, cuz. We'll be able to wait. He must have just got off a plane. Jim, you'll have to tell us what's going on with the planes, like the 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 uh, the delays and the yeah. cancellations. Did you find out if you got a flight home net yet? You know what? We got an email earlier. It looks like so far so good, but I don't know if we're going to wait till last minute. Rob said he's going to call in the morning, and if we could get the tickets either uh, refunded or just credited for another flight, like when we go back in October, we're just going to drive the other car home. And now since this purchase, I the two cars won't hurt me anyway. <laughs> right. You might, at this point now, since you're buying those other things, you probably should drive home so you can bring them back and you're not going to have to get a big truck. Right. Hi, Steve. Hi, Stitcher. She says, did you three coordinate your shirts? Well, one of these things is not like the I always other. I wear an options for you shirt. This is my older one. This is the one that was the first kind of model, but... I usually try to wear an options for your shirt. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Brad Voigt. Hey, Brad. Welcome in. Personal Tea. life. Do you have things in your eBay stores now for people to buy? Um, I do. You know, I mean, um, you, do you have Rob's? Do you have both our stores or just the one? Yeah. There's I, nothing I, in my store, so don't even drop my link. There's well, nothing. You can in drop it. I, I mean, I'm so far behind still in inventory, but it's all right. If you want to drop it, it's fine. I, we actually... Rob actually had two or three sales in the last two days, which is, you know, for the amount of little stuff we have put back up is okay because we haven't had an eBay sale in almost 30 days because we've had nothing listed. Hold on, guys. I'm getting a cup of coffee. Thanks, Brittany. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Harry. Harry, come stone in the house. I say there's nothing in my store, but Susan did find something. I mean, she bought these cute little vintage little desserts. Well, it's funny, somebody named Susan bought the one thing Robbie sold today. It wasn't Susan, but it was a different Susan. Patrick, can you see this? Of course we can see it. Donna, I lost my wrench. Okay, I'm going to go over to um, YouTube and check and see why you lost your, your wrench. Pat D's with the super chat. Do you have the buy the coffee link? You keep more money. Let's go. I have the buy the coffee link. I don't know how to access it or transfer the money. Two people have bought me coffee. And thank you so much to the people that have bought me coffee. Somebody buy me five coffees, but I don't know where it is. I don't know <laughs> anything. <laughs> I got to figure it out. We got to figure it out together. Where's your uh, coffee link at? I don't see it on the page. I haven't put mine on my page. Oh. Did I put mine on my page? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <even> know. <laughs> Thank you, Pat D's. T has too much energy making me want to take a nap. Right? The way she's dancing around. You know, and I don't even know why. Literally, Dada and I were talking about it this morning. We both got horrible sleep last night. I I didn't go to bed late, but I was up really like two, three, four, just watching the clock, watching YouTube. And then, of course, I fell asleep at the wrong time. It should have gotten up at like 6.57. Instead, I ended up closing my eyes. And then I did say, oh, my link is on my page. Okay, so then I did figure it out, Donna. So we'll have to figure it out. Harry. Harry. Ryan. Well, that's good that you're standing up, though. It's so much better for you than sitting down like this. Who's your picker? Who's your picker? You guys are awesome. Look at all you guys. Susan's giving me kisses. Mwah. Right back at you, baby. Jennifer says it goes right to your PayPal. Oh, maybe it does. You might be right, Jen, now that you said that. Oh, I don't think I linked my PayPal. I don't I don't think I did that. I don't know. I think it knows it. Or you had to log into PayPal to access it. 
I oh. Think. I think. I Linda know. says, I received all my packages and everything was great. Thank you for the super fast shipping. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Gypsy Mama. Hey, Gypsy Mama. Murray Zuckerman. Murray's here. Ahoy. Ahoy. All right, who did I miss? Uh, I see Heidi. Hi, Steve Fine. Steve needs comics. You get an email too. Do you, Jennifer? I don't even, I gotta look. I gotta look. Hi, Heidi. All right, Pat, Pat found mine. So I put it somewhere, maybe in the body. Thank you, Pat. What are you I, all selling today? I have it, but I have it on my phone that I'm using as a camera. So I can't, I can't access it right now. I think there's a way that you can even go out and search it though. I think. I didn't spend a hundred dollars with mine. So he picked a number and charged me 15% extra from my purchase. Glad to be part. Oh, Glad stop, to be Kyle. Kyle. Instead. A liar, Kyle. <laughs> No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Are you kidding me? What was I just complaining about earlier today when I called you when I took a five minute break from shipping? That I never leave here. Right, I mean, I leave, leave here, here. I leave here to go either drive the girls somewhere or pick up inventory, uh, run to run to uh, UPS if they didn't pick up my packages. And then to the supermarket and back. Like I have no life right now, but I, I love I love my life. I say I have no life, but I love my life. Um, if I had a link, it would say buy me a margarita. <laughs> That's what he well, likes. I should say buy me an apple martini, but okay. <laughs> no, did Brad fill out a form? You don't have to fill out a form here, Brad. No, the new form. I think he did re-register when we when I did all the new re-registrations. So yeah, he old? he forgot the state and zip, but otherwise it's fine. Do we have an old one from him with the state and zip on? Yeah, it? yeah, it's the old one's there. Captain oh, Spalding, welcome in. What you selling today? Well, I may have one or two or three of these little babies. Sneak peek. So I have some of those. What am I not selling is the question. <laughs> what am I, I not I, selling? I may just have I may just have a bunch of those. What's that? Pins. Oh. And and I I cleaned out my um, photo room today, so I thought I'd bring some maybe some posters and pictures and some one-off things like that too. Little K. Hey, little so, K. I was on the phone last night with my girlfriend and I got a message from you. It came up that you left a message on somewhere. So I like had to go hunting. All I saw was your name. I had to go hunting and looking at all my videos to see because you said you were going to email me and then you never did. And I had to go hunting through all of my videos. I had no idea what video you left on, but I found it. Um, I, I found your message and I did respond to it, my dear. I responded to your message. So Jennifer, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you for helping. Get the thumbs up. You know, oh, I've such good news, Christopher. That's awesome. What's Christopher saying? They finally got my meds correct and have been feeling great now for over a week, feeling like my old self. Yay. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome, Christopher. Mr. Frank Perez. We're Sexton. Oh, no. They're so funny because I associate some people with other people because of the Lava Lamp Live. Right. <laughs> Jenny, Saxton, Christine Rose. Yeah. Christina. Where's Christina? She's studying. Give her a break. No, no Christine no, Rose Christine. is... Yeah. Christine Rose and there's Christina and Christine. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Lisa. Thanks for coming in. Hey Lisa. 
Yes, nice positive energy for Christopher, you guys. It's awesome, awesome, awesome news. On a on a Wednesday. And Holly. And I associate Holly and Jim. All the regulars. Jenny. Did I say Jenny? All the yeah. regulars in Lava Lamp Live. I'm sorry, you guys. I haven't turned it on in a few nights. But like I said, maybe tonight. I'll turn it on. All right, you guys. Thank you. We get a nice little turnout here. I appreciate everyone for coming in. And Shrek, are you going to show tonight? No, I don't have anything ready. Come on. Are you kidding me? You go get something ready. I'm busy. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Lindsay Ann, can you mod for a second while Shriker goes and gets something ready? <laughs> He's saying no. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to share his goodies. Ooh. Pat's giving away money. What do you mean Maybe. Pat's giving away money? Maybe. Wow, Pat, 667. At 667, whoever is showing that time is getting a $10 credit towards their lot. Awesome. He's awesome. Mr. Taranzio. Hello, Kyle. And Carrie. Hi, Carrie, in the background. Hello, hello. Kama Rogers, welcome in. Hello, hello. Hi, Kama. I got a bunch of new subscribers. So you guys, if you're coming in, Kima, if you want to, um, if you want to register, the registration link is pinned at the top. I want to think Kama might have registered. Oh, can no, you look at Kama Rogers? Yeah, she yeah. said she registered. When she first came in a month ago, I'm sure we got her. Oh, Holly said that Saxton's at Home Depot. Oh, originally somebody said she was outsourcing. I'm like on a Tuesday. I mean, yeah, I guess she could be at Goodwill or something, but. Susan, <laughs> I can just see what kind of night it is. Yeah. You see Cam is fine. Yeah, Cam is good. <laughs> All right. You see Susan's comment? <laughs> She's in a typing kind of mood. <laughs> I, think I thought you were doing that on purpose and Donna didn't catch her on it. <laughs> what was What was he doing? Well, because the time didn't make any sense. There's no such 667. Oh, jeez. It didn't even it didn't even register with me. That's why I figured he was just doing it as a joke, you know. No, it didn't even register with me. But Mr. Buys a lot. There he Hi, is. Boobies. Boobies, boobies. You guys, Mr. Buys a lot is I uh, bought boobies today over on Mr. Buys a lot. You bought movies? Boobies. Oh, boobies. I was going to say movies. <laughs> boobies. Yeah, I didn't pop into Mr. Buys a lot today. I, I was running, running, running. There she is. Hey, Saxton. Hey, Welcome Saxton. in, honey. Um, so, yeah, so you guys, Pat Dees is going to be helping Pam out next week while Mr. Buys a lot and his wife go down to South Carolina to finalize some uh, home stuff. And they're going to be seeing T, which will be nice. I'm sure you guys. No, will. they're not. They're just going to be seeing T's house. I'm leaving. They're coming, but they're going to stay with stay at the house. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding! That's why yeah, we didn't make yeah, that connection. Leaving. Yeah. Oh, doesn't that work out perfect? Yeah, they have the house to themselves. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Buys a lot. A little honeymoon action going on at T's no, house. No, his son's going to be there. His son starts school. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. She missed. Did he sell the Donna posters? I still, I haven't even opened the one that I bought from you. I still have it. It's in my closet. I have to frame it. No, he had two different ones and they're still both available, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but they say Donna, don't they? They don't say the Donna. Donna's. The Donna's. Donna's. It's a yeah. group. It was a group. The Donna's. They're not even together anymore. Yeah, the Donna's. Yeah. Oh, he had two different ones? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bought one from him. Um, he. Oh, Captain Spaulding bought one of each. Uh, yeah, Captain bought even... one of everything today. Yeah, Captain Spaulding <laughs> bought everything today. Did he? Yeah, yeah, he liked a lot of the stuff that Mr. Buys a lot had. Kyle. <laughs> 
快哦。<笑><笑> Leslie, Leslie's like ew. I can see her just doing that. Ew. <laughs> That's awesome that you can give them the house. So talk. Let's talk about what's going on next week. Well, this week. Let's tell. Let's tell everybody what your plans are. Well, we're gonna sell today and tomorrow. We'll sell today on your channel. Tomorrow on my channel. I don't think I'll come on Thursday. Because we have to pack and get ready, or maybe leave on Thursday, depending on the airlines. Um, we're going to make a final decision tomorrow because Spirit has just had such major issues. We were supposed to fly out 8:30 Friday morning, but I have a big weekend because it's my aunt's memorial mass. It's her ass scattering. We're going from Manhattan on Saturday to Montauk on Sunday, and I I was the one who did all the arrangements. Book the buses, the restaurant, the whole thing. If I don't show up, my father will absolutely have my head. <clears throat> I have my aunt and niece coming in from California and family, you know, around the Long Island. So I have to be there. I cannot miss it. <laughs> so, okay. So you're leaving on maybe Thursday, Friday, definitely, but maybe Thursday. So you're not going to be, uh, so the weekend, you're going to be busy the whole weekend with family doing family stuff. But the good news is, is now that I bought this big buy on Long Island, <laughs> I will probably take my camera and be able to show for the week in between because we're staying for a full week because the following Saturday is my daughter-in-law's baby shower. So what are you going to do for that week? Are you going to go live? I might think about, yeah, I'll think about doing an auction or two since I'll have all that great stuff now. Again, you guys got to work with me because anything I sell today and tomorrow, I will invoice immediately and you guys can pay and it'll ship. If you don't pay, it's not going to ship till I come back. And I am not coming back till the 23rd of August. So just FYI. Thank you, Ruth. I have two of them. The other one says make your own sunshine, which I love. I love that mug. I used that one this morning. Courtney's in the house, Bello buddies. All right, hey, so Bello, so the Bello, schedule Bello. for next week will be will be determined. Sorry, Brian, I forgot to mention that earlier when we chatted. I just said to Donna, I'm not the small part of the whole lot is the four thousand comics. We get the room full of Lionel and the signed sports memorabilia and a few other things. Sorry, <laughs> it's good. You need it. Lisa, it went out, honey. Everybody's package is out. Everybody is paid and out. Mwah. Thank you, everyone. So we're starting from scratch today. Awesome. Good for you. I still have some lingering ones. I wasn't able to get. I'm never, <coughs> I can never say I'm like 100%, but I, I think I go on a little bit more than you do too. But I'm always at like, I'm always running at like 80%. There's always like 20% that still needs to, to go out. Hey, Michelle. Oh, welcome in, sweetheart. Yes, James. Yes, James. So essentially, T is going to need another truck to move it all to South Carolina. I still need a truck as it is. I still have a full storage unit back east, but I'll figure it out. It, it's all good. It, listen, sometimes you just can't pay yourself a deal. Yeah. I yeah. want to bring you guys the awesome stuff. Yep. Yeah. And you guys list, list, list. I can't like say it enough. Fourth quarter is when's it start? Like three weeks, right? Sold another keychain from my Dibble box. Yay. Awesome Bolo buddies. Good job, honey. Elizabeth. Hey, what's shaking? Hi, honey. Welcome in. Welcome in. Captain says he's got to start selling to pay Brian. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. All right. So since you have your table all ready to go, let's see what Brian says. He says, geez, I passed three deals since Monday. Just said I'm busy this week. So won't be buying until I get back in September. I know Brian, you do not need to be buying. You do not need to be buying. I did all I could do today to stay out of the uh, storage uh, unit site website because around here 
they close on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so I still have tomorrow. I haven't really done a lot of storage unit looking since I've been here. I will, but not yet. Every time I see Jade Moon, I always think of, um, I had a whole case, and I haven't come across them yet. They were those horses that she kept asking me for, and I have a whole big tub full of them still in the box. What were the names of those horses, Jade? Briar. Um, huh? Briar. Yeah, is that it? Mm -hmm. Old ones. And I still haven't found them in my back room because I still haven't gone through everything in the back room. And she kept asking me for them, and I do have them. Okay, you guys, let's go over some of the rules. Minning, uh, minimum bidding increments two dollars up to fifty, then five dollar increments to a hundred, and over a hundred we go, we jump to ten dollar increments. Okay, please say out if you're done bidding. You can come back in later if you want. Free shipping thirty dollars or more per seller, meaning me or T, not combined. Purchases can be combined in a few auctions, or if you just want your items, I can just. Send you an invoice with the shipping charges and you can determine whether or not you want to pay the shipping charges or whether you want me to put it on the shelf for you for a couple of days. You, you make the call. Please do not put any comps in the chat while the items are being auctioned. We don't want to upset anybody who's actually bidding on stuff. And please let Schreiker take care of any problems that may happen in the chat. Yes, the briar. Yep. I have those. I just got to, yep. I just got to find them. This is a 561 number. I got to see who it is. Hello. Hey, Denise, welcome in. Hello. I can't read chat. I get car sick. Well, be careful. Be careful. Yeah, don't read the chat while you're driving. <laughs> um, Donna, no. did it's you a see six one number? That's they, that's how they get you. They you they 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 call from numbers that you. I know, I know, but here. but but Angelina, Angelina's down in Lake Worth playing volleyball, and Chessie's here at the high school playing ball. They're both playing volleyball right now, so I have to answer it. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to be rude, but I I do. I have to answer it because they all have my number. You know what I mean? Like all the emergency contact list. So you did June bug. She got the shot. Her doctor called her and said that the um, the strain of this new virus is. Did you see the link I sent you, T? Did you watch it? At I didn't all? get a chance to watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's pretty long. Um, she was debating on whether or not to go get vaccinated, and she did. She got vaccinated. It, you know what? It's everybody's choice. You know, I'm tired of everybody making it political or this and that or whatever. Some people just are scared. Some people just are scared not to get it. Some people are scared to get it. It's a personal choice, period. That's all. <laughs> Were you in the chat that night, Brian? Were you here? <laughs> no, we probably heard me talk about it or something. Damn, how long have I been gone, Donna, reading the rules and not tea? I hate change. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Christopher. I'll try never to do that again. <laughs> well, Christopher, it is Donna's channel. We try to, you know, if it's my channel, I do it. <laughs> Oh, he said, no, Pam was. <laughs> Watch my Facebook Bolo video, Donna. Someone in the group sold a briar for $600. It was rare. No comps in the chat, Courtney. No and, comps in the chat. We're not supposed to be discussing other things like what we just did with Courtney in the chat either. <laughs> June, I hope you don't have any ill effects from that, honey. I hope you don't. Yeah, but I gotta find them. I gotta find them. I feel like I feel like there was some stuff missing. Hey Abraham, welcome in, honey. Oh, you're kidding, Heidi. And now he has it again because he had it prior and then he got the shot and then he got it again. Wow. Oh man, that sucks. Janine. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome in. Abraham, where have you been? You don't need the shot if you have COVID. Yeah, Abraham, where have you been? I've got those two desks and school started yesterday. You need to come and pick them up, dear. I have two brand new desks for him for his daughters. Susan Arrington, no, you're not. 
No, no, no. Oh no, Susan, what's going on, honey? I hope she's, back she's in not the, the other one. one. Hope she's not the other one because she had it, got the shot, and got the shot. Did she have the shot? Yeah. Susan had it already once and she had yeah. the shot. Is it COVID, Susan? Why are you back in the hospital, honey? Yes, Abraham, tomorrow I will be here all day. Tomorrow is fine. Yeah, you can come tomorrow. That would be great. What did Frank say? I need two theater chairs. Where am I going to get theater chairs? Hi, believable blessings. Oh, that's a nice compliment. Happy believable blessings. People are still getting COVID. People are getting it. People are getting it twice. I got COVID when I was in the hospital. Luckily, I had already had both shots and had had a scratchy throat for four days. Did Susan why did Susan write why she's in the hospital? No. No, you did nothing wrong, Courtney. Don't listen to her. She's just teasing you. No, Courtney. No, 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 no. You're. You're the king of bolos. You're, you 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 kind of get a pass. <laughs> you get a pass. You get a pass on telling people what's valuable and what's not. <laughs> she does. She gets a pass. In my book, she gets a pass because that's what her job is to tell people. <laughs> I don't know, Pam. I'm not sure, honey. Wow, huh? Okay, here she is. Lungs trouble, but tested negative. Thank, praise God. They can't get me in ICU because it's all full. Teachers, no shots in near me. Oh, Susan. Hi, Valerie. Hey, Valerie. People are getting COVID again because it's a different strain. Oh, my gosh, Courtney, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You, you get a free pass, honey. It's all good. I know, I know, I know. Believable blessings. Half the people here are from Courtney. I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Much milder if you get the shot. Don't trust it, Heidi. I got the mod mod Moderna. Moderna. She means Moderna. It probably is a type, you know. Of Moderma. Oh, boy. School, schools closed again? Wow. Wait, where's Susan Arrington? Mississippi. I should know that, right? Because I ship to her every week. So is Junebug. Junebug's daughter teaches in the schools. And they closed the schools in Mississippi. Hey, what's up, Gary? They're opening up testing centers again here. I didn't know that they were closed. Oh Lord, COVID talk again. All right, let's stop talking about it. We'll stop talking about it. <laughs> she don't give up passes easy. So you should be honored. I got blocked once for two weeks. Patties, you're such a liar. <laughs> Susan's like, thank you. And Yana, you know why she's saying thank you? Because I said yes. we're going to stop talking about right. COVID. All right, we'll stop. Hey, Harley Handler. Gary, hello, hello. I didn't see Harley. Here's Mary yeah, now. Right, above, right, right up where Gary was the first time. When he There's said he Harley. Working. Hi, Harley. Yes, we're having an auction, honey. Erica Casey, welcome in. All right, honey. All right, all right, all right. Some people get upset with this whole COVID talk. Hi, Mary P. It <laughs> Mary. was not petty. Stop. <laughs> Mary, did you see the mistake I made today? I made a mistake, and then I realized I didn't make a mistake, and I... I, I re I, I I sent you a refund because I thought I overcharged you, and then I realized I didn't make a mistake. Hi, Camille, and then I I sent you another invoice. Did you see that? I even called T. I'm like, I made a mistake. I said, and she paid it, and and she's like, oh my gosh. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna send her a refund right now, and and then I realized it it, it wasn't T. It wasn't a mistake. It was it was it was real. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have my head examined. But at least it goes to show I'm honest, right? A hundred dollar overpayment. And I sent her a refund because I thought she overpaid by a hundred dollars, but she didn't overpay. She legit, I thought it was a clothing lot. It was a clothing lot. And I, I put on it, the cut out vest, go to Susan Arrington in the clothing lot number. And then it was, and then it was uh, $100. And then I was like, Oh my God, I, I was supposed to just write zero zero because it, because I usually, when someone gifts something to someone, I put it on their invoice. So then I can attach the tracking number to show that I sent the item that they gifted to that person. I, I sent them the tracking number. So I will be sending her the tracking number to Susan Arrington's things when I send out the vest. And so I thought I put a one zero zero by accident. So I, I immediately wrote her a note and I sent her back a hundred dollar refund. <laughs> and then I was like, Oh my God, wait a minute. She did buy a hundred dollar. Losing it. But yeah. All right. Why is everybody saying where's Mary Pisano live? Because she said she keeps saying if I get one more call asking me to sell my house, I'm going to scream. Yes, I saw that. I yeah. So for some reason, she's getting solicited because houses are hot in Indiana right now. My community too. Oh, my community too. Are you kidding? Yeah, people constantly, constantly. I, I can't say that we're getting phone calls. We don't have a landline. We have only our cell phone numbers, but we get we get actual letters, and they're I not just like keep getting emails. Yeah, no, we get letters, and they're not like mass produced letters. They're like handwritten letters from realtors saying that yeah. they have buyers that are interested to buy a home in our community. What's well, Pat doing? Say that, Gary. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't start stuff like that. People are going to start spreading rumors. Susan says she gets those calls too. Yeah, we're all going to sell our houses. Where are we going to go? <laughs> no, where are we going to go? Gary's funny. He says when I when you get those calls, just say sheriff's department. Well, what I've been doing, I've been answering like warranty department. How may I help you? Or uh, yeah, or solar panel electric company. You know, because <laughs> those are the two biggest ones we get phone calls for. Okay. I just answer and don't say anything. I just let it sit there. No, nothing. They hang up. Pat Dees is like let them rumors. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, you guys, please don't forget to give the stream a thumbs up. And T, since you're ready, I'm going to put you on first. Okay. Let me switch my camera over. Susan says, I know a lady in Florida who has a cottage and I'm going to visit. That's where I'm going. Come on down, Susan. Oh, my gosh. I would love for you to come visit. Boatman, welcome in. Welcome in. Okay, let me put T on. There you have right. it. They are all Yankee pins. They are World Series pins. They were all um, given out by Chase. Uh, this is some duplicates. For example, this is um, 1990, 1977 World Series. There's one, two, three, four of those. This is 1930 World Series, one, two, three of those. 1928, one, two. And if somebody could keep track, I'd be greatly appreciated. 1923, one, two. Mary, you would love it down here, honey. There's nothing not to love. It's beautiful. 1936, one, two, three four, five, six, 1938, 1956, one, two, three, four, 1949, one, two, three, 
1952. It might have been actually 32. I might not have put that in with the other 32. There might have been another one. Uh, 1994. 1950. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1998. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1952, 1, 2. These I know are 19, because I opened one, 1939, 1, 2, 3. Uh, 1958, 1, 2, 3. 1996, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2000, and these I believe are 1962, and you got 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen of those. Any interest, or we don't have any interest? Well, we've got Pat at 25. Oh, okay. Did anybody get a total count by any chance? <laughs> we don't have a new counter yet. We're going to have to assign someone. All right. Harley's at 30. All right. So we said there was 13 of those. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, 20. Donnie, you can't bid without a wrench, please. You need to register. 17. 8, 29, 30, 31. I believe we have a wrench for him. Do you? All right. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. Oh, it's as many world champions as they have won. <laughs> All right, Donnie. Donnie, you're good. You can go ahead and bid. Yes, Donnie, you're fine. We'll get Donnie to give you a wrench, honey. Donna and I have been trying to catch up on the wrenching and the registrations and um, who needs what. What was your final count? 67. And Schreiker, we're going to stop at, we're going to roll it back. We're going to stop at uh, Rummage Raiders, $50. Okay. We'll first offer it up, Saxton. I have five locks, same exact. If you just put how many you want, and then we'll go to Harley, and then to Pat, and um, I'm sorry, Donnie, and we'll go down the list. So let us know. Um, this lot is sold to Rummage yeah. Harley will be next. Uh, Saxon, do you want more than one lot or just the one? He wants one. one. Okay, one. He Very wants good. one. Harley, let us know. Um, that leaves me with four more. And I'm going to be bringing you guys so much more sports stuff in the next couple of weeks because I hit a home run today. Okay, one to Harley. 
Donnie, let us know. Pat D's. And then we'll open it up to anybody who wants 67 pins for $50. All right, so we've sold three. You have one left for anyone else. First person uh, that types in 50. So we got Saxton, Harley. And Donnie. And Donnie. So I have two more left. Two more left. You, you, yeah, anybody that wants one, just type in 50. Oh, God, who is your... <laughs> Um, let, let's just say the five storage units that I bought from this guy the last time. This this next lot puts this that to shame. <laughs> yes, congrats, Donnie. Thank you. All right, so this is Defiant Genesis. This is um, Janice Jackson. And it is signed by the artist um, Alan Weiss, 1993. And it's 1993 in Lighted Entertainment. So somebody boarded it. It is on a board. So it's it does have, you know, some dings and whatever. It's just it's, it's on a corrugated cardboard board. Let's see if maybe we can look at it better this way. Janet Jackson, boarded poster, signed by Alex Weiss. This one, obviously, I do have to send um, flat because it, the way it is, it's not going to be rolled as a regular um, poster would be. And um, Janet, did I say Janice? Sorry, Shelly, I meant Janet. <laughs> As in the Janet Jackson? Yes. Yes, the Janet Jackson. Yeah, it was something he did. Um, and again, the artist is Alan Weiss, and it's from 1993. And spell that last name, White, W-H-I-T-E? Weiss, W-E-I-S-S. -E yeah, it's from the Defiant Comics, which is a Marvel comic. Is that like a Hercules? Is it what? Hercules? I guess it is. And what's the yellow thing? Is that a creature? No, the the yeah, this oh this here? Yeah, yeah. It looks like a snail. Yeah, it does look like a snail, doesn't it? Even like this gives you an indication of a snail. I thought you meant these yellows. I'm not sure. That looks like that's what come, comes off of his wrists, right? Out of his thing. Or He-Man, okay. He-Man yeah. or Hercules. Yeah, it's Alan, A-L-A-N. Thank you, Janine. Just okay. Yeah, just A-L-A-N. Defiant is by Marvel. It is um, the trademark at the bottom is... 93. 93 enlightened entertainment and yeah there is his information 
Hey, Jabby's treasures. Welcome in. Hey, Jason, honey. So, yeah. And if there's no interest, we'll pass on it. I just thought it was cool. I figured I'd bring it and see if you guys were interested. Is it on a hard board? Yes, it's, it's whoever whoever bought the poster kind of glued it onto a corrugated cardboard, one of those like whiteboards. You know, kind of like what I have down here on my base of my. You should have seen me today. I packed <laughs> up um, Heather MC and um, I think it was Marilyn Blatt's maps. I think it, I think she bought the maps. I can't remember. And I you know sandwiched them between like you know double wall uh cardboard i i swear to you like i broke out a sweat while i was doing it it was like it was so hard to like to do that job all right if you don't like comics maybe you like mickey this is walt disney a That's special awesome. special collection shrike we can start this at 15. um this one i will roll it is rollable um it, it's called a special collection. I will give you measurements. I did mean to measure this. It's pretty large. Oops. Let me grab my measuring tape. And if anybody's interested in that defiant and wants to offer a little less, I, I, I'll be willing, not crazily less, but I'm just trying to move some stuff out. I got to make room now. <laughs> Jules, oh. you changed your name again. 33. Welcome in, honey. By 24. So it's 33 high and 24 wide. Oh, God, there goes my camera again. <laughs> Give it a minute. <laughs> What year is the Mickey Janine wants to know? I don't have a year on it, Janine. Honey. There's no year on it. What's it say on the very bottom? Disney? Yeah, just copyright Disney. Oh, she got tired of being called R1J1. Remember, we used to com confuse you and Jenny all the time when you when you guys first started coming to the channel. We used to confuse Jenny and and uh, and Jules. Remember all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I couldn't I couldn't get it straight. It took me forever. Hi, Nantique. Hey, Nantique. Guys, if there's anybody watching in the background, please send in a registration. Donnie, my first purchase with you guys. Does oh Donnie Donnie needs a wrench? Yes, Donnie needs a wrench. Yes. Donnie registered the other day. Okay, welcome Donnie. Thank you for coming over to my channel. How are you doing, Nancy Connie? Good to see you. Janine comes in at 15. Thank you, Janine. And again, it's 33 high by 24 wide. Donna sent me. Donna who? Oh, no, she's been here, Jules. Jenny was in here earlier. The antique is listing for fourth quarter. Good girl. Yay. Get those orders out. Get those orders listed. All right. If there's no other interest, we'll count it down to Janine. Yep. We're at fair warning. Yeah. 
Yes, Jenny, she talked about you. No, she didn't. Donna did. <laughs> I did. I was just saying how when you both first started coming to the auction, we used to confuse Jenny and Jules all the time. All right, we're sold to Janine. We would, we would call Jules Jenny and Jenny Jules. All right, does anybody else want one of those? Oh, Janine says to send it to Pat D's and use the last of my gift certificate, please. Oh, that's so nice of you, Janine. Does anybody else want one? There's no surprise. Janine's very generous. Wheels and Deals wants one. Okay, thank you, Wheels and Deals. Anyone else? And this is an exception to my $30 rule because it has to go in a tube. So unless you buy another poster, of course, there's nothing else I can send with it anyway. So this is a great deal because that's $15 shipped. So if anybody else wants one, get one while I'm feeling very generous today. <laughs> Wheels and Deals, my first purchase. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Donna, you told me to come to this channel the other day. <laughs> I did, Donna. Kay Brogan wants one. Thank you, Kay. <laughs> Were you on Tease? And I said, come to my channel. You yes, probably. Me? That's probably what it was. We registered them over on my channel. <coughs> Hi, Kay Brogan. You follow good directions, Donnie. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Donnie, you're up, honey. All right. I'm just going to pop on the screen real quick and say hello, hello. I have my sunglasses on top of my head. I was just out outside to the car. Yes, you said tea had toys. Oh, yeah, she does. Uh-oh, you feel a nap coming on? Uh-oh, Susan. Okay, you guys, here we go. I'm going to add this to the screen. And my first lot is going to be a craft lot. It's going to be a drop and stop. Um, Deborah Reed, are you in the chat? Deborah Reed. How much are you doing? 50 or 100? 100. It's going to be a $100 one. It's a nice one. Um, Explain it. We have a few new people. Okay. So, you guys, what a drop and stop is, is I will put a series of items on the table. I'll, I'll show them. Some, sometimes I just throw them on. And when you see that there is a $100 value of items on the table you write sold in the or chat stop. or stop sold or stop and i will stop and you get everything that's on the table and this is something that mr buys a lot um came up with and i uh stole the idea from him i think i need to put my other light on it looks like it's kind of dark Hold on, you guys, while I plug in this other lamp. There we go. That's much better. Hi, Heather. Oh, somebody said she's on mute. Someone type in Donna says hi. <laughs> she's watching quietly.
Thank you, Janine. So basically it's all crafting stuff. It's a crafter's lot. Elizabeth, meow, meow. Where's Tammy? Tammy, if you're watching in the background, hi, honey. She loves cats too. This one's Martha Stewart. What's it say on it? Feldman. This one is Martha Stewart also. Is it? Yes, Martha Stewart. So you'd have to probably use something to get that Feldman off. Hey, Dees. Oh, she lost power. Another Martha Stewart. Another Martha Stewart. Here's some no so Velcro. Here's another Martha Stewart. This one's starting to get a little beefy. Yep. Especially with all those punches in there. All right, we have a stop. Kay Brogan. All right, Kay. Awesome. Thank you so much. I just put this all back in here real quick. Big lot, Kay. Holy cow. Awesome. All right. It is D. Hewitt. All right, let me just put this over here a second. All 
Great. Okay, you still have a gift certificate with me, don't you? Pretty sure you do. No. She said no? Invoice me. All right. I thought you did. Oopsie, June bug. Maybe she'll do another one later. <clears throat> another um, craft lot? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, you guys let me know. This is my next item. It's a CGC universal grade. It's mint number nine. It's um, Zenta, $30 start. Excellent condition. It's a Pokemon card, all graded for the Pokemon lovers. You don't have to send it in to be graded. For those of you that are collectors, $30 start. Centering is a 9, surface is a 9, corners is a 9.5, and the edges are a 9.5. Holly comes in at 30. Thirty-two to Junebug. Hi, Lisa. Hello, sweetheart. Thirty-six to Holly. In perfect condition, no cracks. 38 to June. Anybody who is a Pokemon collector would love this for their collection for a gift. Forty to Holly. Forty two to June. <clears throat> Excuse me. Forty four to Holly. Thank you, ladies. Not for sure the men would be in on the action. <laughs> It's a 2020 dog. 2020, Gary. Don't call him dog. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> my kids, my kids will say dog when uh, it's kind of like a term that you use when, like, if I don't understand something, my my daughters will be like dog, <laughs> and I'm like stop. It's it's a word that they use like with teenagers. <laughs> Well, if he didn't like it, like the word, he wouldn't put it in his name. Uh, exactly. I guess I look at it that way because I'm like, you know, that's when the kids say it to me. They're like, dog. <laughs> Anyone else? We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. All right, let's give it to Holly. Oh, does he? Randy on American Idol always says dog. Yeah, I don't think he's on there anymore, is he? I don't know.
<laughs> we, we answered that question, Jill. Let's see. $44. All right. Let's put that back here and let's do these comics. And so for those of you that are, um, I have, I'm going to do some, I'll do another craft lot. I have some more clothing that I'm going to do. I think I'll do a dibble lot tonight, <coughs> which is a little dibble bit of this and a little dibble bit of that. Okay. The first one is called the defenders. It's a Marvel. It's a number one issue. And Anita Blake, vampire hunter. Marvel, one of five. I don't know if I have all five or not. Death of Wolverine, the Logan Legacy. Here's another death. This one's six. This one's five. She's still around, Holly. This one's number 17. Original price on it when they bought it, I guess was $8. This one is a Spider-Man and the X-Man number six. I have some toys. Yeah. I have some toys. I can go get daily bugle final. The New York's finest daily magazine is this one. I don't know. Captain America. What, what did you say? Uh, Kyle Elliott wants to come on to sell some cards, graded and cards. Bat Rock the Leaper, number one. Captain America, three of three. Conan the King, number 50. Conan the King, number 49. Number 48. Number 47. Number 45. No, Holly, I didn't have to leave. I'm still here. <laughs> Number 44. Donnie, I'll bring some in a little bit. Number 43. Number 42. Number 41. Number 40. Savage Wolverine. Number 12. So we had numbers 40 through 50 on Conan the King. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. This oh, one's no, this one's number eleven. Thank you for uh, paying attention. Thank you, Holly. This one's number ten, and this one is Avengers World, and it's number six. These are in excellent condition, folks. Here we have number seven, number eight, number nine. Number 10, number 11, number 12, 13, 14, 15, all brand new, 16, and then 17. It's a nice run, right? 18, all Marvel. And then we have Captain America. Bat Rock, the leader, number one. And here we have the Incredible Hulk, Marvel Comics, number 12. Excellent condition. Like a brand new. The Punisher War Journal, number four. Here's the Punisher number one, number two. Here's number two again. It says 64 pages back to school special. Here's the Punisher, the origin of the microchip. Oh, number one. Number two. And then we have Peter Parker, Superman, no, Spider-Man. Number 41, The Amazing Spider-Man Pearl at Parker Industries. Number 16, The Web of Spider-Man. Number 64, 
number 72 for Spider-Man. Then we move over to the thing, number seven, 60 cents. Number six, number five. Captain America, 702. Captain America again, 703. And here's a Captain America annual citizen, number 11. And then this one is three of four, and this one is four of four. This one is called Checkmate, DC Comics, number 29, and number eight. Josh, welcome. Where have you been? We've all been waiting for you. You're late. Number seven, Challengers Unknown. Shade Changing Man, number six. Ew, look at that cover. Some nightmares <laughs> come from. Catwoman, number 26. Dr. Fate, A New Era, number 25. Lord's Pal the Demon, number 13. Number 29. Here's a Damage, number 8. Again, you guys, I, I can't stress to you, like, this, this, these out of this lot are amazing. Here's number 7. Demon, number 21. Dr. Fate, 39, Doom Control, number 46, Dr. Fate, number 23, Death Stroke, The Terminator, number 8, Original Dr. Fate, number 36, number 31, number 40 for Doom, and Dr. Fate, number 35. I hear you, Josh. I'm with you. Justice League number eight. Justice League number 48. Justice League number 17 task force. Here's Justice League quarterly number four. Justice Society number six. Number 25. Number 24. Number four. And then here's Justice League America, number 60. That's a cool cover. Number 46. That's a very cool cover. This one's number 78. Justice League Task Force Zero. Night Quest Batman 502. Batman again, 443 and 431 Batman. Where's D. Scott? Did he count them? <laughs> uh, D went out, but Carl showed up. And we still have Josh at 35. It's the high bid. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Welcome. Welcome in. What year are the Justice League? There's so many different ones, Holly. What would you what would you say? There were like some old ones in there and some newer ones, right? Yeah, there were a lot of different series. Just pick that top one there. What's the price on it? This one, the price on it is one dollar. So that's probably mid eighties or so. Nineteen. It looks like eighty two. Let me say, no, ninety two. Ninety two. Wow. This one's ninety two. And this one is three dollars and fifty cents. This has never been opened. I feel like I'm opening it for the first time. This one's ninety-two as well. Okay, Carl, honey. <clears throat> we 
we miss you in the chat. Try to visit whenever you can. Josh is at 55. I was looking for some more Justice League. Well, I'll show them the, the good part was the King Conan's number 40 through number 50. Steve is at 60. Josh had come in at 55. Let's see. This one is also, this did I look at that one? 1992. Did you say, oh, this Justice League, which one just did you say? Uh, Conan. They're, on down. They're a little ways down there. I was going to say, I didn't even know I had Conan in here. 1993 on that one. Yeah, yeah, number 40s through 50. On this pile? No, uh, they were on both both stacks. Captain America, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Punisher, Punisher again, Conan, Conan the King. Yeah, we had number 40 all the way up through number 50. On oh, I did? Yep. <clears throat> so a nice little run. 1988. That's 1988. So they're a little bit older. Oh, yeah, there's Conan. Conan the King, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 47, 48, 49, 50. That was it. All right, we have Steve at 60. Anyone else want to come in? Who's Twisted T? What is he talking? What is he talking about? Josh is out. All right, we're gonna sell him to Steve for sixty. Josh is almost home. Thank goodness, right? I'm gonna kick back and crack yourself open a nice cold one and have dinner. That was the twisted tea part. <laughs> ah, alcohol beverage, he's saying. Oh, gee, yeah. I thought he was calling me twisted or something. I know. I was thinking that. I was like, why is he calling tea twisted? Sold, sold, sold to Steve for $60. Awesome, Steve. Okay, you ready, T? Uh, just give me two seconds. I'm sorry. Wait. Oops. Oops. I'm just trying to get a different lot together. Okay. You... Okay. okay. Go ahead. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Camera's a little off, but oh, that's because I had it set for the posters before. All right, we're going to do a baseball lock here, guys. Um, we have two sealed boxes. One is a Topps 2000 complete set, series one and two. Sorry about the glare. This one is 1991, the complete set. Also sealed. This is a 
This is an RC Cola collectible can with Greg Nettles on it. It is a little dinged up, but that's the can. This is a mini bat, Robin Ventura, Gold Glit, Louisville Slugger. I have this mini helmet. It is Rick Helling. And you've got a an 86 Donruss Roger Clemens, a Donruss rookie Mark McGuire, a Pirates Randy Kramer, 1990. A Fleer, Gerald Young, Houston Astro, Astros, 1988. Terry Poole, Houston Astros, 1978. Mason Williams, New York Yankees, Platinum Moment. Fled Gladding, Tigers Pitcher, 1965. Xavier Hernandez, score 91. Are you sure about that, Kyle? That doesn't seem likely. What is Kyle saying? If you cut the bat in half with a saw, it's actually filled with gum. It is not, Kyle, liar. Um, He's just Vinny, trying to get Carl to bet on it. Vinny Castile. I think I brought all my gum the other day. Carl missed it. <laughs> and that's, again, Vinny Castile on that one. Who was the other uh, helmet? Uh, Rick Helling. Hey, Carl, honey. All right, we have... You have to buy something. I forgot to put your four helmets in your package. Ugh. I found them on the side the other day. I was like, no. We've got Harley at 50. Anyone else want to come in at 55? And you guys know, as always, we'll toss a few extra goodies in there. I always beef up my sports lots when I have the room. Harley's plan must have worked. Scared everyone away. <laughs> he power bed. He power bed. He wanted it. Uh, almost. Oh, Heather MC. Heather. Were both of those sets uh, fit, uh, 91s? No, the tops is uh, 2000. Harley bought power bid to 65. All right. Her Heather's out. Do you remember what RC Cola tasted like? No, I know. I don't think I really ever drank it. My husband said he used to drink it all the time. I don't think I ever tried it either. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't remember if I ever did or not, to be honest. We weren't big soda drinkers when I was growing up in my house. Well, we were in mine. My mother, every, all my girlfriends loved to come to my house because she, they always knew that T had a bottle of Coke in the house. My father drank tab by the gallons. Oh, my gosh. And mom yeah. did the Coke thing and then the Diet Coke thing. Yeah, I, I was one of those um, children that didn't like milk because I never drank it. The only kind of soda my parents ever bought when they bought it, which was very rarely, was um, Fanta. Oh, yes, yes. The orange soda. Yes. And that's and that's what they serve in Italy a lot. Fanta is really popular in Italy for some reason. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Why? Because it ends in a vowel. <laughs> no, probably. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, Saxton, I'm with you. It's the only food drink. John Jones. You to mixed with cola. It's the only food or drink that I will not, the only like food, I consider it food or drink that I will not drink or eat is milk. Anything else I'm fine with. I'll eat anything, anything at all. Milk is the only thing that I can't. Oh, I hate milk. Hate it. About 200. There's at least 200. There's probably more. They're 1996. They're Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know a lot about them. I don't know if this is a lot of cards, not a lot of cards. I don't know what cards are special and what, if 96 is a good year. The only thing I did find that when I was going through them is that I don't know that these, I will assume these are 96, but they're all written in Asian, so I don't know 100%, but they were with these cards. So I'm sure you guys know um, if they are or not. So those two cards, and you've got about 200 cards here. I, I know there's more than 200. I did like a stack of 54 times that was actually more than 50 so are they pokemon cards no they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards oh Yu-Gi-Oh. so i'm not even sure like what the specialties are of this like kind of card like this one i can just tell you has like a a gold monogram this one has a silver one i don't know if that means anything on them and carl wants to know if any of them have like the holograms on them like the shiny ones um, other than like this, like this having like a, a shiny title, I don't know. That no, the, the, the pictures themselves. The pictures themselves. Okay. This one does. Return Soul. It's a trap card. Mm hmm. This one does. Roryoku Field. Christina, I was shouting you out earlier. I was looking for you. This is not, this like has like little things in it. I don't know what this would be almost maybe holographic or something. This one. Wheels and deals. I'm sorry. You can't drive right now. Maybe is there a friend around or maybe even an Uber? I bet you an Uber would do it. Where's Wheels and Deals going? He said he's got a bunch of stuff in his storage unit, but he can't get to it because he can't drive right now. Uh, that one is card ejector. I'm sure if you call an Uber and just say, you know, I just need to go in and grab a few things and then they'll take you right back home. KK! Hi, honey. Hey, Kathy. Welcome in, Kathy. Carl wants to know about the condition. I mean, the conditions, I mean, they, they look okay to me. I mean, I don't see any major dings, dents, flaws. I'll pack no them well enough. Or... 
no creases or white areas yeah, on the maybe edges one, or corners. Maybe one card, like I saw a little, you know, like this kind of corner is a little, a little bit right there. But for the most part, they're in really good condition. They were in a box, just not a like a, a Yu-Gi-Oh box or anything. They were just in like a little almost baseball card box type thing. I will ship them like that with some bubble and protect them from you for you guys. Is there any interest striker we'll pass on? Yeah, we're up to 32. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. You know, again, I th this is one. This and, like, if my sons were around, they'd probably. I hate to ask them, though, because they're like, oh, I'll take them. Um... I want that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially magic with my youngest son. Oh, my God. I have to hide them when I find them or buy them because he's, he's he wants them. Yeah, I've got I a bunch of magics. <laughs> I don't think either of them were into Pokemon, though. One was too old for Pokemon. The other one, I think, is too young. It was kind of like in between their ages. But for some reason, regardless of their ages, they both like magic cards. Hmm. I was too old for all of them. Yeah, I never got the appeal. <laughs> all right, Kyle, let us know. 34. Miles 34. All right. Thank you, guys. Well, these have good age on 96. That's getting back their ways. Yeah, 96. That I know for sure is what was on all the cards. I mean, maybe I missed one, but they were all 96. They were all together. I looked at every one of them. For the year to make sure because i know sometimes they get mixed up good for you kk t told me that you were taking your channel in a new direction that's awesome try new things right mm -hmm. kyle's at 40. that's why i like to mix it up Little volleyball, little auction, little out doing errands with the girls. When's her next game? Her a little first walk game. on the beach. I'm going to be, I, I told T, I'm going to be, uh, my schedule is going to be pretty messed up because um, uh, Chessie's going to have night games. So her games start at six o'clock. So I won't be able to go on until much later after the games. John Jones, I don't know who either one of those people are. I only know Kyle Elliott. <laughs> you know Kyle Tehran. And Kyle, what's it, Oman? Or Oman, Oman, yeah. Kyle Oman, I think, took some time off. I think that's what he told us. He, he took some time off. Kathy, that's such a nice thing to say. Thank you so much. All right, D, get started. Get them up there. Yeah, it's the only way to grow your channel. <clears throat> All Dee, right, Kyle, we need 55. <clears throat> D, that's awesome. And you know what the best thing about that is, is that look, they'll have that to look back on 
years from now. Like my daughters, like long after I'm gone, they'll be able to tune into YouTube and they'll be able to see like all of our little outings together. And I mean, that's really why I do it. I mean, I don't do it. I, you trust me, you, you make pennies on those kind of videos, absolute pennies, but the memories of being able to like, you know, watch them, go back and watch them. That's the part. That's why I do it. Oh, that's oh, awesome. There's a few more. I just, a few more I just found. So now we're probably up to about 250. Make sure they're all 96. I'll put these last couple in here. Yeah, you got about probably 250 now in there. Gary, are you saying here, here, because you like that idea? Marshmallow. Uh, marshmallow. Marshmallow. <laughs> it's called Marshmallow. <laughs> and he's shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, All right. so now I know for sure we have 250. Now I know for sure there's 250 in there. <laughs> Can I just say I bought Gouda cheese macaroni and cheese shells from Trader Joe's and they are like heavenly. Oh God, are you eating right now? I am. Oh my God, she's gonna want to take a nap. <laughs> I heard the microwave going. I gee, I eat in between every single one of your lots. I have oh some, I, I snack on something. Oh my God, I had a half a sandwich today. No, that's not true. I had a bowl. I'm trying to eat healthier. I had a bowl of bran flakes with some blueberries this morning, and I had a half a tuna sandwich. My husband and I split it with a pickle and some goldfish i know i shouldn't eat that but my daughter brought me over when she came over earlier she brought me over a delicious um turkey and cheese sandwich with avocado and tomato and lettuce on... john, she never brings enough to share exactly what's that john jones says you never bring enough to share i know and then and she put it in a little tupperware container and then she cut up some little baby, um, you know, the little baby cucumbers. I love those baby cucumbers, the little ones. And she cut up some baby cucumbers and sprinkled them with salt. And she came over and she's like, I brought you lunch. And she Aww. put it down. I you know. And I was sitting, I was sitting at the computer, excuse me, in the shipping room shipping. And it was so nice of her to do that. She's so thoughtful. I was yelling at her yesterday because she, she has a really bad habit of putting her name on food. I think what? she did your kids used to steal one another's food or something. Oh yeah, food food's a problem in my in my house. There's really my husband went to Costco today and spent five hundred dollars on on food oh, God. <clears throat> this morning. And that's gonna last probably maybe if I'm lucky, it'll last a week. And they all of my kids, they um, they get very possessive with their food. And Angelina goes to the extreme of like literally writing her name on food and taping it onto like very specific food that she doesn't want anybody else to eat. And I yell at her for it all the time. Oh God. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be sold to Saxon. Thank you guys. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, we have food issues in my house. All right, let's see if there's any interest in this. Um, I kind of looked this guy up. It's just an awesome picture, if anybody's interested. It's 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 kind of thick, thick poster. Um, the name of the artist is Blaze, B-L-A-I-S. It was done 5-16-05, and it's number 56 of 100. And he's a painter. Um, I wrote some information about him down. Now, where did he put it is the problem. Hmm. 
And of course, now it's not here that I want to read for you guys who this is. You guys can do some research. Um, I do know his mother was an illustrator because I remember reading that. Um, she actually uh, did the illustrations for um, some movie or something. God, I lost a piece of paper now. I'm annoyed at myself. Where are you going to start at, T? Um, started at 10. Gary, that's so funny. <laughs> he says, oh, my God, we should send Angelina boxes of food for Christmas with their name on the outside. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the other kids don't do it. I mean, they're a little bit possessive, but she goes to the extreme by writing her name on stuff. And that really upsets me when she does that. So I yell her at it. I yell well, maybe, maybe, maybe that's why she's so thin. She just never ate right. <laughs> she doesn't stop eating tea. And because she's, everybody she, stole her food. <laughs> she's, even, she's even skinnier now than when you saw her because she works out every day. Is that a rollable? Or are you going to be able to roll it up and ship it? Is it a what? Are you able to roll that up? Um, no, I'm not going to. I it's don't flat. think I'm going to. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able. It's going to have to go flat. Yeah. It'll Welcome in, Todd O'Rourke. Hey, Todd. Um, oh, I'm, I'm mad now. I had that whole thing staring at me all day when I wrote it down. Now it's not here. Darn it. Christine, she Darn eats it. really healthy. Like she eats really, really clean. She doesn't eat junk very often. Every once in a great while I'll see her eat. But even if it's like her idea of eating junk is like Stacy's naked like pita chips with hummus or guacamole. You can wrench Todd if you like. Okay. Thank you, Todd. Now, T, can you spell that for me again? I put B L A I D E S. No, no, no. It's B L A. Wait. B L A I S. B L A I S. Um, oh, gosh. I'm so annoyed. At, oh, his last name is B E L L E N O I T, like Bellinol. Um, B-L-A-I-S and then his last name B-E-L-L-E-N-O-I-T Who was it? It's just somebody who is an artist. He's a painter. Um, he actually did sold some artwork too. He was on the he was with the tour with um, Fish. He sold some artwork um, I don't know if he did stuff for them on the road. He's originally from Rehoboth, Mass, believe it or not. From um, where? Down in Asheville, Carolina. And his mother was very famous, too. She did um, a lot of Hollywood illustrations. Um, but his, his stuff is really cool. And this is an awesome, you know, he's a painter by trade. That's what he does. And he does live paintings now, too. Like, you know, where you can go and watch him paint live. And he'll do... Um, stuff like personalized stuff for people if they want it as well but this was done in 05 probably when he was up and coming you know probably one of his first things that he really sold out there he likes to do very um kind of skies and kind of mystic photos mystical yeah he likes to do a lot of the like fairy and ocean rising and things like that so how many hands are in the in the picture hmm <laughs> They kind of all blur together. If I was to guess, I think there are ten, but I didn't. Yeah, I never know. <laughs> yeah, he does some amazing work. He really does. All right, 
Do you have any other interest? If not, we'll call it. Yeah, people are bidding. KK's at okay. 24. Okay, thank you, guys. Christopher came in at 20. Thank you, guys. So, um, Todd was at 12. So, Todd, let us know if you're in or out. Christopher's out. KK's at 24. We're just waiting for Todd. I am Gary. I'll do some. I'll do some when I come back on. All right, Todd's out. KK is going to get it for twenty four dollars. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you everyone for bidding. I appreciate it. Congrats, KK. Nice piece. Nice piece. All right, I think that's my three, right? Okay. T. Yes, honey. Are you there? I'm here. Okay. I'm going to do three. Okay. And then I, and then I want you to do like six cuz I'm okay. going to go take a nap. No, I'm joking. I want you to <laughs> I want you to do six because because you guys for those of you that don't know, T is going to be leaving the day after tomorrow. So I'll be able to go on a lot more like over the weekend and stuff. So, um, yeah, I want you to sell tea so that way you can get out as much as you can tomorrow. Yep. Before yeah, you. Yeah, I'm going to ship. I'm going to ship tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, th tomorrow and Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Tomorrow and Thursday. Yeah. Um, as long as everybody pays their invoice promptly, your stuff will leave the building Thursday. But I'm not going to be here Friday to ship it out. So if you don't pay by Thursday, your SOL until the 24th at least, because I don't think we're coming back till the 23rd. Yeah, because she's not. She she might show when she's up in New York, but she's going to be uh, on a hiatus for a little while here. So I think you should just go ahead and sell, sell, sell. Okay, here is an eight five. The centering is a nine. The surface is an eight. The corners are nine point five. The edges are an eight. Zakian. Let's start it at ten. Since it's number one ten. Let's start this one at ten dollars. Twenty twenty. Kim's at fifteen. Whoops, I almost dropped it. It almost wasn't gonna be perfect anymore. Oh, those cases are pretty tough. Are they? Oh yeah, that's why they're in there. I'll let her know, KK, when she comes back to the screen, what you just wrote. Kim's at 20. Kyle's at 22. Jenny's at 27. Pretty one, isn't it? The colors on it. Yep, it's shiny. The rainbow burst all around. It's awesome. I like shiny things. Yeah. Kim's at 
comes at 29. Hey, Frank. All right, I'm going to add this one to it. This one's a number nine. Centering, surface, corners, and edges are 9.5s. So you're going to get both of them. <clears throat> All right, we've got Jenny at 31. Kim, let us know. Kim's at 33. Jenny's at 35. Thank you, Carl. Kim's at 40. Forty two to Jenny. Is 9.5 the highest grade that they go or nine? 10. Oh, 10 is the highest? So this one's nearly perfect, right? Yeah. The edges, the corners, the surface, and the centering. The centering just has to do with the way the company cut them, right? That's right. You see a little more yellow on one side than the other. On this one, there's really no difference, but you have to get it out and measure it and everything else. On this one, there's really no difference either. How do you even, you know? Exactly. I guess the top looks a little bit wider than the side there. See it? Well, maybe not. <laughs> I think it was the way I was holding it. Amazing rare that one's called, and this one is called Vivid Voltage. Oh no, it's Amazing Rare also. Jenny's out. Kim's gonna take him for 49.
All right. Awesome. All right, so let's do uh, let's do these two. This one, eight point five nine centering, eight surface corners are nine point five, and the edges are nine point five. Let's do that one and this one together. Where you want to start it? Start it at 20. Thanks, Carl. Carl Power Bids. They're so pretty. No other interest, we'll let Kyle have it. Oh, Kyle comes in at 40. Uh, one more Holly was on the last one. <clears throat> right? Maybe she stepped away for a minute. She must have been driving. Yeah. Was out. Kyle was at 46. Chapel Holly comes in at 50. Kyle's at 55. Yeah, Carl, PSA used to not do 9.5s. They just started doing it not too long ago. It used to be a 9 or a 10, nothing in between. Now they're doing the 9.5. Yeah, CG, CGC is a much harder company than PSA. So like this 8.5, if you sent that to PSA, you'd get a 9 at least on it. So they're a little bit tougher grading. Oh, they are? They're a better company? Uh, different company. They're just tougher on grading stuff? Yeah, they're just tougher. You see, they break the grades down into four different categories where PSA just gives you one overall grade. Oh, yeah. Although I think recently they've started breaking it down as well. I don't recall. Which company has been around longer? Mm, I think CGC has probably been a little bit longer. Do they have a long waiting list also? I don't think it's nearly as bad as PSA is. I mean, CG, CGC is mostly for comics. Now they're checking for fingerprints on the cards. You're kidding. Can you wipe them off? Well, carefully. Don't scratch it. Oh, no, I think I don't think he's he's talking about, you know, fingerprints on the, the, the surface. I think he's talking about, like, on the actual... On the actual card, they're looking for fingerprints. Yes, of course. They put them under microscopes and look at it, everything. What a All business. Right. Anyone else? We're going to close it down to Kyle. Kyle? Kyle's getting it. 
What did he come in at? He's at $55. $55. Yeah, PSA has been doing cards longer, but hasn't CGC been around longer? I mean, Zay, mostly for comics, yeah. Right, Jade? I learned so much, too, from, from the people in the chat. It's awesome. You know, half the time I don't even know what I'm – what I'm showing and these guys come in and they, they teach me so much. Um, Shriker's a wealth of information. Wow. Gary says his son sent in some cards last September for grading and still has not got them back yet. Do they at least send you like emails that saying we have your cards and you know, they're being looked at like, do they at least communicate with you, Gary? When right. um, I mean, you have your tracking when you send it in, so you know it arrived. And then you, in your account, you can go in and see what step in the process that it's actually in. Oh, yeah. So they do, like, keep you, like, updated. Yeah, I don't know if there's any information between arrival and the first step or not, but I do, I do believe they'll tell you that they arrived in the system. Right. Okay. okay, they did do it. We opened the box. Okay, good. All right, this is it. This is the last of them. This is what I have left. I have no more after this. So I'm going to do these last three all together. I was going to do them one at a time, but I'm just going to do them, and then I'm going to hand the show over to T for a while. So I have this one, which is a 9, centering 9.5, surfacing 9, corners 9, edges 9. Where are you starting at on this? Let's start it at 30. I have that one. And then I have this one, which is an 8.5. And then I have this one. You get three, and that's it. That's all I have. Yeah, but Kyle, it's so hard not to look at that document after they're done, waiting in anticipation for the package to arrive. Right, dog. Daily pickups for you. Is that Brad bidding? I haven't seen him bid on anything for a while. Thank you, Brad. Kyle is out. Kyle's out. Anyone else? Warning. And they are going to Brad's house. Oh, 
All right. Congratulations, Brad. Thank you so much. All right, T, you ready? I can be. Well, are you? Yes or no? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I have enough for six lots, but I have some lots here. All right, well, you just let me know. You let me know when when uh, you want me to come back on if you need to regroup. All right, honey. I'll be right here. Okay. We're going to make sure you don't mute because we want to hear if you're snoring. Okay. <laughs> I am going to go lie down for a minute. All right. Six hash trucks, guys. Um, I haven't taken them out of the box. I don't know if they've been out of the box, so we'll look at them together. 1990. Look like not. But oh look. Oh yeah, they this this one hasn't anyway. Yeah, this is still Yes, John Jones. Carbs are kicking in, honey. Yep. Exactly. I think it just fall out of here, though. Hold on. Let's see where that came from. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of grapes, and then I'm going to lay down for a minute. I see. Is it too dark, Shriker? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, we can get the model numbers off the box. Okay. And again, that's 1990 on that one. Yeah, the least amount I disturb them out of the box, the better off we'll all be. <laughs> yeah. And the boxes, most of them are in fairly decent shape. I mean, this one does have a little bit of, you know, corner dinging. I see a little bit of light staining. So that's that one. This so one can is, you can you find a model number on on them? Oh, um, where would I find that? Let's see. Probably around the UPC somewhere if they had one. I don't see a UPC on it. Hmm. Nope, I don't have a UPC on this one. It's not like UPCs were not invented in 1999. Right, right? exactly. But there is not one. And they must but have just been in a direct release from Hess and never Yeah, made you know, if you got them at the Hess gas station, probably, you know, that's they didn't need to have one, maybe. Um, this is the 1993 uh, Hess patrol car. And no, this one doesn't either. Batteries. Wow. That one must light up. They all, I think, take batteries. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought well, they were just banks. I bet they're no, light ups no. and banks. No, this one's a toy train tanker truck. The first one I showed, horn and backup alert, real headlight and taillights. So that one So does. just the one on the right is a bank. The rest of yeah, them are light ups. That one is a, that's nice. an 87. That's the earliest of all of them, too. Okay. So again, this is the patrol car. It does not look like it's been removed at all. Ninety four rescue truck, emergency siren, horn, backup alert, real head and tail lights, pulsating headlights, emergency flasher, two energizer outgoing batteries. Oh, 
So that's that one. All right, I will put that one back in when I have I have enough hands. <laughs> this one is 1996. Emergency trucks, emergency siren horn, backup alert, searchlight, real head and tail lights, pulsating lights, emergency flashers, two energizer batteries. have a box this is a 2008 it's the newest one of all of them and it's probably the one that's in the worst condition because it didn't get put in a box so it does need to be clean there is some dirt you know dirt and dust is always free here at the auction not to say that there's anything wrong with it it just needs to be cleaned comes with the extra bulldozer so the dump truck and bulldozer does that one take batteries also the little one Yes, it does. Yep. Yep. I'm surprised no one has um, <clears throat> recommended yet. Let's put batteries in them and try them out. <laughs> Not. <laughs> All right. And yes, the last one is 1987. It's Toy Truck Bank. So do you it think it's the truck or the trailer? That is the bank. Yeah, it says Toy Truck Bank, but it is 1987 and it does take batteries as well. So the bank compartment turn knob at rear of tra trailer counterclockwise, one eighth of a turn to lift and open. Uh, you don't even need a key. And the lights do work on it. So even this one does take battery. All right. Now, even though this one is in its original box, I'm noticing there is some corrosion or just some, I don't know if it's because of wear, because I even see some foxing on the box itself. Maybe it was just exposed to the elements or something, but it's not yeah. perfect. A even little moisture around there. I'm sorry? There must have been a little moisture around. Yeah, something, because you see how the silver on that one. Yep. But again, it has never been removed. The wheels have not been ridden on the ground or anything. That's just from high humidity. Yeah. All right, and that's that one. So six in total. And yeah, this is the little to open, turn and lift. That's, I guess, to open the the bank i was hoping that whole trailer was going to be the bank where you could really fill it up right they're just a little bit a little bit in the back hey brins how are you hey d june bugs out Got D at 42. Need to hear from Brins. Well, will you guys count that down? Let me see if I can get this one back in. Brins is out. Anybody else?
coconut man's wife just came knocking on my door. Oh, she oh. got the boxes? She yeah, so many boxes. Oh, Holy cow. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, everybody who was bidding. Appreciate it. All right. Let's do some of these. These are called Record Exchanger. They are all bags. I am not opening the bags, guys. They're really in awesome condition. Um, I'm just going by what somebody put on these. Every one of them, they put Rare Rock and Roll Magazine. I have no idea. You guys will have to do the research. The only thing I can tell you on this, this says issue number 24. I also have issue number 25. I mean, that copy right down there, but that's probably from something else. I don't want to even guess what the, what the dates on these are, guys. This is issue 31. I'll see if I'll put them in order, at least let you know if we have some kind of run here, or I don't know if they were published by the year, by the month. Issue number 27. Sorry about the glare. They are all very bagged, very well taken care of. Now, these have volume numbers and consecutive issues, so I'm not 100% sure how they, although these are earlier because these are a dollar. This is number 26. So we had 24, 25, that's 26. 27. Let me see. I'll try to see if I can at least see if this. All right. So there is a 28. There's a 30. And then we had this 31. So let's put all those kind of in order and we'll go through them again. And then there's these three. One says volume four, number five. Volume four, number six, volume five, number one. And then these two are called number six, issue 14, winter 88. And this says issue number 15, spring of 88. So these are newer, whatever they are. Um, so again, we have 24. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 26, 27, 28, and then we have 30. And 31 on the issue numbers on those six or so, three, six, seven of those. And then three of these, volume four, number five, Jerry Lee Lewis, volume four, number six, Dells, then and now. And then volume five, number one, Elvis Champs, Annie Records, Duquesne's Lynn, Peter Tripp, and more. And then the number six, issue 14 and 15. So 12 in all. <laughs> Thanks. KJ, did you shower? <laughs> Are you dressed, KJ? <laughs> well, we're not getting, getting any hits at 30. You want to go a little less? Yeah, we could start it at 20. That's fine. I have no idea. All they say is rare rock and roll magazines. I, I don't have a clue. I'm going to take a quick uh, walk and see. I don't know if I have any more of these, but if I do, I'll throw a few more in. Maybe that'll entice people.
No, I didn't find any more of those. I did find the song hits that's bagged and boarded, though. February 1977 with Bob Skaggs. Let's throw that in. Oh, okay, KJ. All right, well, KJ, I think you might be the only one interested. Um, and let's see, what else do I have? Well, I'll grab these three. That's that's really all that I have that might be in the same. This one says rock and roll, uh, fall 1975, California surf roots. Here's a June 1980 Beach Boys in concert at the Westbury Mu Music Fair. And here's another one that says Rare Rock and Roll Magazine, Big Town Review, The Larks, The Teen Chords, The Codex Plus, July, August, 1972. So you've got about, uh, what did I say, 12, 15, 16, 16 pieces or so. And if there's no other interest, we'll call it down to KJ. Sixteen in total. All right, congratulations, KJ. Thank you, honey. All right, I have um, again back to sports a little bit. This is uh, this one I can. Let me see. Can I roll this one? Yeah, I think I can roll this one. Um, nineteen sixty-one New York Yankees infield. It's signed by the artist, to Madden. You guys will have to do the research on the actual artist, though, because I don't know. Oops. I don't know. What do you want to start it out? Ten bucks? Sure. Pull your camera up a little bit, too, so they can see the whole poster. Okay. Actually, I'm trying to decide which works better, laying it down and pulling it back or standing it up. It doesn't stand up as well as I would like it to. KJ wants to know before he gets in the shower, do you have any more old magazines or ephemera? Um... <laughs> That's a loaded question, KJ. Oh my God. Um, that I'm going to show today, probably maybe one more lot, uh, but maybe not. Maybe not. Probably not, honestly. Do you have a tape measure handy? Yes. All right, so it is 24 long by 18 wide. And um, let's, roll the, let's roll the pricing back to Hosier at 20, and who wants one? So Marilyn wants one at 20. It's not Hosier, it's who's your picker? Who's your, all right, all right. I'm and sorry. I'm calling him the singer, Hosier. <laughs> it's who's your picker? Okay. 
It took us a whole show to figure that out. <laughs> oh, I wasn't here that night. Oh my God. Couldn't figure out how to say it. <laughs> You're welcome, who's your picker? <laughs> It took a while. It took a while that night, but I finally got it. Do either one of you want more than one? And how many do you have, T? I have enough. Okay, so if anybody else wants one for 20, just put 20 in the chat and how many you want. And then any of the winners, I'm also going to offer up a 1963 one. It's not signed, but I'll do it. I'll do it for half, for ten. If anybody, I only have three of these. 1963. If anybody wants to, who wins and wants to throw this in with their winnings, I have three of these. 1963 heroes. Hi, Kimberly. For ten. Hey, Kim. Hosiery picker. The days of pantyhose. Do women still wear pantyhose up north? I imagine they must in the winter time. Okay. Did I screw so everybody up now? Marilyn wants one and Hoosier wants one. Okay. Yeah, if you purchase the first one, you can have one of these and I have three. Marilyn wants one and um I'm not sure who is here says I'll take them. Does he want more than one? The other one I can I can do many multiples. So let me know if you want um, the other one multiples. All right, who's your I'll take the last two of the 1963. Okay, and then how many 61s did he want? Uh, just one, as far as I know. Okay. This is, the sixty ones too, just so you guys know. It, it's a lot sturdier and a lot heavier than the sixty threes. That's why I'm just going to do it, you know, for that. Um, but if anybody else wants sixty ones, I can do multiples. The sixty one is twenty dollars. If anyone wants it. And Kimberly came into chat while we were busy. Hello, Kimberly. All right, that looks like that's it then. All right. Marilyn and Hoosier. Okay, that'll leave me with three more if anybody's interested. I'll put them aside, just let me know. Marilyn, did I say hi to you? I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. You guys, somebody forgot the thumbs up. Yeah, make sure that button's not broken. It was broken please, the other day. Please support the channel and give a thumbs up. All right, we have... Pat Kelly of the Orioles, Rick Dempsey. Thank you, guys. Let's see if we can get it up to 80. This it's is 69, 73. Thank you, guys. 
This is Ben Davis. Thank you for the one who just gave me the thumbs down. Go away. <laughs> this is, who are you going to be here watching Jeff for? <laughs> Hi, Deborah. This, let me grab this. This, um, thank you, probably, Deborah. Probably needs just a little TLC. It looks like it's kind of come come a little loose from the box. I'll see if I can get it um, directed before I ship it out. Um, it's San, Sammy Sosa, Sosa with a display case, commemorative figure. It's a headliner. Right, Deborah. going to put in this 2000 World Series champion Subway Series. Gary, if you're signed in, it'll only take it one time. Well, it, it may show up twice, but it'll throw it out later on. Cheese. Unbelievable. And then I'm going to throw some sheets in on this. They're always double sided on these sheets. No rhyme or reason on some of them. Some of them are by team, some of them are by player, and some of them are just in there. So the, the auto on the bat was a real auto, it wasn't a preprint? Um no, it's a real it's a real uh marker. For, for Pat Kelly, see, okay. It's a little smeared actually and on the L. Well that's a good um, sign though. But no, it's it's real. And then the uh, Rick Dempsey on the ball. Sammy Sosa on the headliner, and then you had Will Clark. Ben Davis and Jeff Nelson on the hats. And we'll throw, well, I'll throw a dozen or more of the sheets. They may have a few, like I noticed in here, there's a little bit of a stack of Minnesota. So of all years. So if you're a Minnesota fan, you might like that. Or if you're an Expos fan, because I see a bunch of Expo sheets coming up. T T. Gary says, whose signature is that? Sammy Sosa? No, um, no, no. Sammy Sosa is the head is the uh, headliner uh, figure, display case and head uh, figure. No. Um, I think I do have some oh, Sammy Sosa. I have to look. I, you know, again, it's just a lot. Um, yeah, we'll throw these, whatever these are. See, so it looks like mostly um, some Expos and uh, Twins. But then there's a few mixed as well. And then I'll put in a couple of specialty cards. And as always, I get the box up, fill it up with um oh, he's found another sheet of cards. Fill that in there. I always fill the box up with extras if I have the weight available. Oh, you know what I have available, and I'll put this in. I think this is my very last, my absolutely last, last 1989. Do not chew the gum, <laughs> Bowman, with the possible Ken Griffey rookie junior card in there. Do not chew the gum. <laughs> I will not be responsible. Well, Hello, hustlers. Not if it's black, anyway. If it's still nice, powdery, it would probably be okay. <laughs> Keith Hernandez, first base of the Cardinals. I don't know, some kind of card there. Uh, who is this? Challenger for 70, Ben Grieve, upper deck. Frank Thomas. Authentic SP Home Run Chronicles. 
The hustlers are here. Hey, Jackie and Sarah. Hey, ladies. And this is Sean Lowe, 1992 draft pick. Here's a McGuire. No, but you'll get some views, Hoosier, if you film it. <laughs> That's for sure. I'll drop the link. I'll let you drop that link. If you that. <laughs> yeah, we'll put your link in the chat if, if you make a video. <laughs> of it. <laughs> and I don't usually let people do that anymore. So <laughs> mm. here's a uh, signed Whitey Herzog. Oh, oh Whitey. Here's a memorable moments upper deck Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, this might be a rookie. This is um, Sheffield. There's Sheffield. He looks awful young now. Yeah, it is because it says rookie on it. It looks like upper deck. It is, yes, upper deck. And I don't know. We'll just a couple of mysteries. I'll just I you know I pull out of my um, I pull out of my little bin of plastic cards. These for whatever reason somebody put them in plastic for a reason. So. I'll throw those in there. And you probably get a few extra little goodies if the room and the weight allows. <clears throat> Brad's in at 70. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Harley. Thank you, Hustlers. Harley's in at 80. Thank you, guys. What about Pat D's? What about you, Pat D's? It's not always about you, Pat D's. Sometimes it's about me. Oh, Patsy's, were you bidding? <laughs> oh, God. not on this one. Huh. Where, did, where was he bidding? He wasn't. He wasn't bidding. He's just <laughs> calling my bluff. He's also calling you out in capital letters. Not, no, it's not always about Donna. <laughs> no, he said, no, it's always about Donna. Oh, always. <laughs> He says, I know the rules. <laughs> Jackie goes, no, he wasn't. He wasn't bidding. Thank you, Jackie, for confirming. Oh. I know, Heather, you have no idea. It's constant with him, constant. <laughs> it's like nonstop. <laughs> Oh, he just says, I'm here. That counts for a thing. Pat, Pat D's. This is a typical Pat D's phone call. He'll call and he'll be like, Ooh. all right, I got to go now. All right, bye. And then he hangs up and you're like, okay. Hey, he just needs that 15 minutes of, you know, loving. Yeah. It's okay. Well, he calls you first, right? And if you don't answer, then I'm like second fiddle. He'll call me second. Oh, I don't know how true that is. I heard you spoke to him the other day. He never called me. <laughs> at least, at least he admits it. The, tonight before the show, he called me up. He's like, "Well, I just called T, and you know, she didn't answer, so I'm calling you now." <laughs> oh, treasure hustlers! You know what? It's a constant battle. Whatever. Everyone keeps saying, turn off the thumbs down, but no, I'm not going to. <clears throat> yep. 
because one of these days, one of these days, you hey, two firm is believer, I always say a firm believer of karma. One of these days, YouTube is going to change their anonymous thumbs up and thumbs down. And I will be able to go back to all the videos and I will be able to see all of the people that gave me thumbs down. Yeah, he's good like that, John Jones. 15 minutes, 11. Oh, <laughs> really, treasure hustlers? <laughs> What did she say? She says, I think it pushes you up in the YouTube rankings. And then she says, I'm pretty sure you're right. Yep. yep. yep, yep, yep. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be changing that like any second. And then we shall know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Harley Handler. Thank you. All right, so let's see. I have these. They are some cars. Y S O six M, nineteen eleven Maxwell Roadster. Some of these are one sixty fourths. I think this is a smaller. Ver uh, some of them are one thirty second. Is this whole lot diecast? Yes. Okay. This one is Matchbox Collectibles. Why, why, three? Eight, I was one. I was wondering where you were, Anthony. Anthony! Please come to my channel and give me thumbs down with your 10 accounts. <laughs> oh, God, Anthony, don't, 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 uh, don't wish that, honey. <laughs> French Field Service Ambulance, 1947. Wow, that's an that's an interest that's interesting, Jackie. And I know you've done your research because you girls are really good at doing research. Nineteen thirty-two Ford co convertible sedan with boot. Karen, hello, Karen Bamberg. Hey, Karen. Right, Patties. I'll, I'll take it completely out of there if you guys uh, can't see it that well. Models of yesteryear, 1933 Cadillac Fire Wagon, YFE03 on that one. And if you guys want to see anything again once I show them, I'll, I'll definitely bring them back up again. This one looks like it does not have the guts. This is just wrapped in bubble. So no packing with this one. I mean, I'll pack it and then you'll get this bubble back for sure. But the box does not have the original insert in it. Hey, Paul, welcome in. Probably. Hi, Robin. Where do you see Paul? Oh, <laughs> vintage <laughs> treasures. I thought it was vintage. Tre I, my mind read vis vintage treasures, not vintage memories. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. DYM38021. The Salt Lake City Police Department, 1933 Cadillac. 
Oh, look at what look what Sarah just wrote. YouTube will show us our thumbs down soon. They show rolled out subscriber only mode. So only people who have been subbed to you longer than five minutes can write in the chat. Huh? Yes. Yes. Pat Deese was telling me about that. That's interesting. See, I never read those updates, those YouTube updates. I just wait for Sarah and Jackie to tell me. 1955 Ford T-Bird D-Y-G-O-8-M. Right? <laughs> That would be nice. <laughs> Ooh, I like the color. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look, it's a convertible hard top. Nice. My neighbor Ooh, had a real one. My neighbor sharp. had a real one of these, except in black. Wow. That's beautiful. I think his son now has it. Oh, God, here goes my screen again. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, doesn't want to fix itself. Come on. Thank you, Pat D's. So I'm pop, pop me out and pop me back in, honey. Okay. No, that didn't work. All right, let me try one more thing. Try again. <laughs> I'm going to just switch it back. Oh, there it is. Works. Okay. All right, so again, you have this 1911. It's a Maxwell Roadster, 40th anniversary of the models of yesteryear. You have the French Field Service Ambulance, 1947. Yeah, whatever that says. <laughs> Bye, Patrick. You have this fire engine, models of yesteryear, matchbox. This one, like I had mentioned, there's no internal guts, but will be wet wrapped well inside and bubble. Thank you, Madel Marilyn. Hey, Beetle Gal, welcome in. Salt Lake City Police Department. The 1955 Ford Thunderbird with the removable hot tub. Hard top. Did I say hot tub? I'm in hard top. That's really cool. It is cool. <laughs> and then the 1932 Ford Convertible City sedan with boots jackie you don't need to do that here honey you let it let it all loose honey and there we go wow karen unbelievable What's Karen saying? What did I Karen miss? says, my, my girlfriend and I rode around in a T-Bird in, in college until her father took it away and gave it to her brother, who still has it to this day. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> there she goes. 
What? <laughs> there's there's the Jackie we all know and love. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> <clears throat> Gary, when do you see what's coming, Gary? <laughs> shelves and shelves. <laughs> um, I want to give you guys the deals. I might resell some of them, but I'm going to bring them to you guys because that's what we do here. We bring the wholesale deals for you guys to resell. Don't worry about the orders. They'll be there tomorrow. Bid, 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 bid. <laughs> Thank you. That feels right. <laughs> Linda's in at 65. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Who else is bidding? Harley. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. All right. All right. I am going to need a minute to put these away and put them in their boxes, Donna, so... You want me to show? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, let's sell it. Sold, sold, sold. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a bundle of fleece fleece fabric okay these are um i don't know how big a pieces they are um some are a little bit bigger than others but some of them are just like little squares okay so this one looks like it was cut and pinned for something i'll show you so this is all fleece so there's that one Here's a bigger piece, and that's all paused. Here's one that's all pink. $30 start on this. Here's another one that's all paused. And they do say names on them, but um, yeah. I know the other night you guys were asking for names. Here's another one. This is a nice big piece. And here's yellow and orange. And here's a little dog one with green that's got those shades in it. Here's a brown one with dog bones on it. Here's one that's just blue. Here's will one you, that's... Will you be able to build any wool or silk later up? Am I going to what? Can you build any wool or silk lots later? Wool or silk? Oh, out of the fabric that I have? Yeah. Um, I don't think I have any wool or silk left. I see satin and cotton and stretch. Um, here's orange. Here's a Snoopy. Here's another dog one. And here's another dog one. And that's that's it. That's one big bundle. Yeah, this is it. This is all the fabric I have left. What's behind me and and then that will be it. And what what size were you guessing these pieces were? Um, they're all different sizes. Like this one here is probably about two yards. They're all different sizes. And Benji there looks a little smaller. This one here is definitely smaller. This is probably a half a yard.
No interest? Not yet. All right, we can pass on it. Uh, Kay will come in. It is a phenomenal deal. There's a ton here, especially if you like to make those no sew kind of scarves or blankets that you just tie them all together. That's how big the bundle is. Mary, you wanna come in for 32? Right, Hustlers? Did you see my background? Look at Fabric Store. I put it all up on the shelves. Well, you know what, Mary? Um, sometimes you, ha you have to be like a nonprofit, like registered nonprofit in order for the oncology floors to accept homemade gifts. Um, because there's lots of guidelines that you have to follow because of uh, germs and infections. Like I know um, when I had my store, we used to make donations all the time. And I was, I was a, um, I was, I was accepted as a, I'm trying to think of the right word. I can't think of the right word right now. But like if you're just an average person and you want to make like pillowcases, for example, um, they don't just take them from anybody. They're really strict because you have to imagine they have to protect the kids. Yeah, Mary, they are. They're, they're really strict about it. All fleece. Right, Treasure Hustlers? I think I have like one more box that I have to put out and then that will be the end of that, the end of all the fabric. I have, I, I've been selling fabric for months. Yeah, it has to be sterile. <laughs> I was a candy striper, Gary. <laughs> I was definitely a candy striper. I loved candy striping at the hospital. D. Scott, where were you? We needed you earlier. I did some comics and I had nobody to count them. Okay, Mary, you want to come in for 36? Contributor? Yeah, no, I was um, not authorized, not, um, it's like, what's the word? Not accepted, not authorized, not... I was, I can't think of the word right now. Hey, Jim, you're home? Where'd you just fly in from, Jim? I was not eligible, not qualified. I was, I was a chosen one. But there's a word that I, oh, T. T. No, I was yes, not. Yes. Remember, we couldn't remember the word the earlier. It was the word, the word was that we, neither one of us could remember was obituary. Oh, oh yeah. Right? Neither one Did of us could imagine? remember. We were talking <laughs> earlier about something and and I couldn't remember the word obituary. Eulogy, eulogy. I'm like, no, not I kept eulogy. saying, yeah, I kept saying eulogy, and she's like, No, it's not eulogy. And I'm like, it's like a eulogy, but it's not the eulogy, it's the other thing. What's that other word? Now I can't think of this word, but it was obituary. I thought of it, I thought of it. 
You were a vetted organization. Yes, Sergeant Port. You were approved. Yes, but that's not the word. Do you have any Christmas bears fabric left? Jeanette, um, I'll have to look. See if I have any Christmas. I think I sold the last of the Christmas the other night. I did. I don't think I have any Christmas left. I sold the last of all the Christmas. Yeah, I don't see any Christmas left. And there's a big stack here. What's over here? What did we get? We got a ton of white white fabric. Ozma certified. Nope, that's not the word either. Sold, sold, sold to Kay Brogan. Lot number seven, fabric. Kay Brogan. Awesome. I'll be able to put Kay Brogan. Oh, no, no, no. She got the uh, drop and stop crafts. Um, how much did it sell for? 34. French Bulldogs or Boston Terriers? For 34, did you say? Yes. 34, got it. Lot seven. Lot seven, got it. Um, I don't know if there's any dogs left. There's some dogs, but I don't know if they're cartoon dogs or not. Oh, look. Okay, Kay Brogan. Tia, you, you don't know, she's not set up. Mary says she just paid you again. You did? <laughs> Mary. At least you know I'm honest, right, Mary? <laughs> Mary. She must have been like, what is she doing? That crazy girl. Sending me a $100 refund. <laughs> I was convinced I invoiced you incorrectly. <laughs> Brian, would a hound dog singer qualify? And here I am thinking, like, I, I even said to T, I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, how am I going to even tell her she overpaid me by $100? I'm like, I hope she doesn't get embarrassed. Remember, T, I said that to you? I'm like, I hope she doesn't get embarrassed that she overpaid me by $100. <laughs> I should be embarrassed that I accredited, similar, but that's not the word either. Accredited, but similar. Similar, but that's not, it will come to me. All right. I'm going to do, um, because I'm going to do another lot of comics because I have them right here and I just want to get, I just want to get rid of them. So death of Wolverine, the Wolverine X program. Number one, number two, number three. Number five, Death of Wolverine, the Logan Legacy. Number one, number four, number five. Oh, those are doubles. Number four again. So you've got multiples of one, two, three, and four in that. Captain America, number two. Captain America, Marvel Comics, The Chosen. Number one, number two, number three, number four, I don't know what number that one is, Captain America issue number one, Timely Comics, Marvel, 70 years, um, I don't know which one this one is either. I can't see the number on that. Oh, it's one of five. Okay. And here's number one of crossbones. And number 71 on this Spider-Man. This Spider-Man's number 80. These are all like in brand new condition, you guys. Like never opened. 696 on that Captain America. 698, 699, and what does what does digital content mean? 
you have to go online in order to get it. They give you a code, you go to a site, and you can read the read the comic there or something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of comic buyers don't really care for reading it online. The Punisher War Journal, number 37, number 36, number 39, number 41, number 42, number 44, 45, 47. Thanos, Thanos number yeah. 4, 6. Hulk, Hercules, Unleashed, number one, number nine on that one, number one on this X-Man, True Friends, Back in Time, number two, and number three. This Captain America is number 29, number 34. Here's a Punisher, number 19, 20, 23, 24, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. New X Men, men, number five, number six, number nine, number ten, number eleven, number thirteen, number fourteen, number fifteen, number sixteen, number seventeen, Captain America. Number 28, number 29, number 41, Captain America, number 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, number 21, number 23, number 24, number 26, and number 28. Sorry, you guys, they're not in any order. I just pull them out of the boxes and sell them. So this is, this is how you get them. Number 26, number 27, number 28, number 30. Captain America, Black Widow. Where is Black Widow? Black Widow never comes in anymore. Number six. Number eight, number 10, number 12, Marvel Team Up is number 22, The Web of Spider-Man, number 46, another Spidey, number 129.2, 129.1, Avengers versus X-Men, it's a limited series, three of six. The Thing, 60 cents, ten, number 10. New X-Men, number four. Thanos, Rising, number four. The Punisher, number 46, 47, 48, 49, 51, 52, 53, 55, 56, 60, 62, 64. This one looks like it's got two on it. 64 and 69. Stephen King, The Stand. Three of five and four of five. And that's all of them. So 
Saxton's at 65. Todd comes in at 75. Nice big lot. Saxton is out. Todd O'Rourke is at 75. I went to school with a Brian O'Rourke. 103 comics. Wow. Thanks, D. Scott. That's a great score. There's 103 comics there. Going twice. Right, big score. And we're going to be sold. Sold, sold, sold for $75. Thank you, Todd. First time winner. Awesome. Thank you so much, Todd. All right, here's T. T's got toys. T? Uh, you're muted. Sorry. Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, I got a bunch of toys here. This is... This is just a little bit of this and that, a little bit of mystery behind it for maybe. Um, I do mystery toy lots. I throw a lot of stuff in the box, 50 or or $100 if you guys ever want to buy one. But it's just a combination of an example like this. We'll start this out at 20 bucks, and we'll see where it goes. No, Todd, I will, eat, I will send you an invoice. And as soon as you pay the invoice, we're going to ship it out. So what do you, what, what do we have here? I don't know. We have a dinosaur. I don't know. He's got this weird thing on his stomach. Maybe you guys know, maybe he goes to something. Oh, he makes noise. Oh, he makes a roaring noise. So that's the other thing too. Some of this might be parts to other um, items. Here's a high chair. And don't forget, dirt and dust is always free here at the auction. If I'm going to prep and clean these, then I'm going to list them myself. How I get it is how you guys get it. Looks like there's a little guy that pops up in there. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but you guys can figure it out. This is some kind of bowling or pin set or something. The the rope, the pink ball, and the uh, stand and the balls were in a bag. So I never saw that before. I'm not sure what that is. This is, looks like it makes a heart for a little easy bake or something like that. Here's a little dinosaur in... A bouncy ball. You got a jack in the box. <laughs> I don't know how good it works, but it, there he is. <laughs> that, I was I was talking to T, I think it was yesterday. I don't know, yesterday. This one. <laughs> today. And all of a sudden she goes, Oh shit. I said, What's the matter? She goes, This thing just scared the hell out of me. Because she wound it up and it popped out. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't that one, though. It was a really creepy one. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. This is a Disney Princess Travel Bath set. This is a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse 8 mini discs for Achoo! Mickey Mouse. God Ooh, sorry. bless you. For the oh, sorry. I didn't have time to mute myself. <laughs> That's okay. This is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 48-piece puzzle, and I believe it is still sealed. It is in the little tin. This is like a little car garage 
No, actually, this is a boat. Now that I look at it, I thought it was some kind of like, you know, car. Looks like it's some kind of, it says the Mariner on it. So I think it has something to do with boats, actually. Here's a little soldier on a plastic stand. Says Freedom Force. And you've got a little Batman. You've got a little Minnie Mouse. you got a little, what I believe is a Ninja Turtle or some fit variation thereof. Man in a Barrel. Something that is marked Monterey Jack like cheese. I don't know. Oh, it's a stamp. Oh, it's a stamper. It's a stamper. You got two Tinker Bells, one in a just opened, one that's still sealed. You've got the Sesame Street Elmo telephone. This is a little bank. This just says grocery store on it, probably for some village. And this is just a little, I think it's a Barbie one. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Um, like a little dresser, changing table or something like that. But that's what you got. I will always pad it a little bit with room. That's a Pokemon Gravelar, the rock ball shaped guy. Oh, you're right. It is now that I look at him. Yes. Yes, he is. He's a Pokemon Graveler. Didn't really look at him too close. I was too busy showing everything else. Um, again, I will, um, you know, pad the box up. I usually fill the box up, but this is an example of what it'll include. If anybody wants to do um, a mystery box of any of my stuff too as well, just let me know. Um, I can get those prepared and get those out ASAP before I leave. Aw, awesome, Mary. That's awesome. I'm so happy. Actually, Mary, did yours go out in two boxes? I don't even remember. <laughs> I forgot which one you bought. You bought the big box or not. But always have those again, too, if anybody wants those. I'm actually going to, I think I have some leotards here in my show. All right, we have no interest in this. We'll pass on it. It's all good. Oh, and I forgot the Ninja Turtle ball. <laughs> but again, I would fill up the box. these um it's going to be a combination of dance this is uh so dance contemporary everything is new this is like a beige jumpsuit it's all dance clothing it's well it's 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 it, doesn't have to necessarily be dance. It could be tumble. It could be gymnastics. Um, they're not branded dance. I mean, they were with the dance clothes, but again, this is, um, I'll try to give you guys sizes too. I forgot, uh, size small, which is probably a teenage small and not a little girl small because it looks pretty big. And where are you starting at? Well, Start at 20, I guess. Let's 
shirt. The little holes down the, the arms. Just a plain black leotard, size medium. And another medium. You know, they can wear these, you know, for gym, for ballet, for tap, jazz, any of that stuff. Um, gymnastics, tumble. Now that's probably girls large. I guess I don't even know. There's something in the clothes with this. I'm gonna toss that to the side a minute because I'm not hundred percent sure that should have been in here. Doesn't look like dance clothes all of a sudden. <laughs> That's a large silver strap. Here is just a plain black with the strap. Adult medium on that one, I think. That one can almost double as a bathing suit. <laughs> Let's see. But again, to me, multi purpose. Crop top. A large oh, this is a long dress. That's a size large. This is just a little cute, small, medium girl sweater to put over their dance stuff. Lisa's asking what brands are again. Basic, basic moves. And um, first couple were, what was the name of that one? The Lycra's? They were, um, oh gosh. So Danka. Designed by, oh God, I can't even read it. I don't know. So Danka is the name on that one. And basic moves on these. And this one is a medium.
hang it down the side. It doesn't look like it belongs here either. This box kind of got a little mixy. All right, I had to replace the last four. They weren't really <laughs> in the same <laughs> in the same category. You got this one. This is a six seven. Got a cute little blingy heart on it. This one is more of a two two type, and this one is a six seven as well. I got this one. And this one. And I'll count the pieces if you guys want, unless, I don't know, somebody counting. <laughs> so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty one. Karen, they're all over the place. They go from a kid six, seven up to a, what I would consider like a um, junior's large, like a, you know, 13, 14. All right, I'm going to sell it to stitch it. Okay, awesome. Thank you, stitch it. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Oh, who else was bidding? Thank you, thank you, guys. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying. A lot of attention to the chat but thank you everyone for bidding all right i'll do a little little sports a little sportsy mostly looks like hockey New York Rangers, Stanley Cup playoffs against the Montreal Canadiens. New York Rangers, Boston Bruins, December 23rd, 1967. New York Rangers, Toronto Maple Leafs, September 29th, 1968. 
Oh, actually, it's a mix. It's mix. We got football, 1953 annual. We got football, 1948. We have New York Knicks versus San Francisco and Chicago versus Boston. Here's another. I think this is the same. Yep, there's two of these. Rangers and the Canadians. And guys, again, reminder, check these books because you just never know with the books. Here is a... 1982 Yankees scorebook. Here is the 55th annual dinner, New York baseball writers, Americana Hotel, June 29th, 1978. And a reminder to look into in these books because, trust me, I knew this one at least. Some yeah, of there's them, a lot in that one. There's wow. a lot of signatures in that one. Um, and I was told to make sure that everybody checks these books. This book is not in great shape. We'll just consider that a gift. And if there's signatures, it's a home run. I have this photo. You'll have to figure out. It must be a famous because it doesn't tell me anything. It just says photo by Bob Kalmbach on Kodak paper. So I have no idea, but you guys can figure that out and see if that's anything. Um, I'm also going to throw these in. Official license postcard set. And it looks like they're all Maguire. Throw those in there. There is a signed here card that I've been looking at here. I don't know. I'm not a good hockey person, but Thomas Graydon, Vancouver Canucks. You guys will know better than me. I have a little ticket to the Long Island Ducks hanging out here. We'll throw that in there. Here's another football picture. This is of the Stony Brook Patriots, 81-82. That's actually a Long Island uh, college. But who knows? Maybe somebody famous came out of that year. I don't know. I have two bumper stickers for the New York Yankees. Oh, and this has been hanging out over here. Let's throw this in here. Uh, something postcard or something from what looks like the Atlanta Olympics. And I think I'm down to like my last Ichiro book. We'll throw that in there. What else do we have hanging out here? Uh, these lonely set of football cards just get collected dust on the table. Oh, and I got this. What is this here? I don't know. This one is... Who is this? I think this is why I put this aside because it's one of these just minor signed hats, but I don't have the, the little piece of paper that comes with it to tell me who it is. You guys will have to figure it out. How about a hockey puck? So now we got every sport in there. Oh, here. What's this? Oh, maybe we have another sport, wrestling. Yeah, I'm, I'm still missing soccer. You're missing soccer. Okay, let me see what I got. If I got any soccer hanging out. Any soccer hanging out. But that, that wrestling medallion was a nice uh, add in there. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't know that I got any kind of soccer. I've had boxing, I've had everything. In fact, I do. Hold on. Water polo. Yeah, I don't I don't see that in there either. Or horse racing or any of that. All right, this magazine may cover it all. It's 1940. <laughs> it's 1947. Spalding Sports Show. Who knows? Tennis. Yeah, I see tennis there. Uh, here's a 1976, 77. Here is. Ooh, this might be worth a few bucks. Who knows? The man who can't can beat loudmouth clay and here's another world of boxing what the heck throw it all in there yeah soccer that's one thing i don't think i had gotten any any pieces of oh i just found that paper to that tit figures <laughs> Oh, so anyway, his that that I think KK landed up buying that other one, but 
The mother was a professional illustrator, and Stephen King's The Talisman is what she did the illustrations for. I thought that was interesting. Now, that, that piece that she bought wasn't a part of the talisman, though. No, 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 no. That was her son. Okay. But that was some of his background. That he, he was from a family of artists, and his mother was a professional illustrator, and she did Stephen King's The Talisman, like the illustrations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you could come then, up with yeah, some Yeah, there's a whole history behind that, gentlemen. Um, that Bellano... Um, you know, he did a lot of different things, you know, did the artwork on tour with fish and it was just, it was, he was very interesting. You know, whether or not it's worth a lot, I don't know, to be honest. All right, we have who's your 50. All right. Thank you guys. Did we have a registration for Dragon Smoke? I remember the name. Dragon Smoke, yes. Um, the only reason, probably, why he 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 or she is unwrenched is maybe something was missing, which is possible. But we'll take we'll take his bid. Okay. Well, I don't see. Oh no, I see Dragon Mom. I don't see Dragon Smoke. Definitely, yeah. definitely have definitely have their information. It okay. just maybe something's missing. But Dragon Smoke, if you get a minute, if you could just refill out the new registration form, we we made everybody kind of fill out a new form. Um, when you get a chance, I appreciate it. Do you see it on the um, on the sheets? I don't. Well, I've shipped to him before, so I I know I have his information. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, go ahead and wrench them. You have Dragon Smoke's information? I do. I've sold to him before. Yes, but uh, Dragon Smoke, please fill out another registration. Thank you. I think they're lagging anyway. Is Harley Hand Harley Handler here? Has been, I believe. Was earlier. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Hey, Pam. I'm sorry, guys. It's when I show over here at the camera, it's so hard for me to read the chat. <laughs> but welcome in, guys. Thank you. All right, and again, it's a T-Sports lot. You know what that means. It gets padded. As long as I have the weight in the room, it's all good. Heather's at 65. Thank you, Dragon Smoke. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. And honestly, you probably lost it on my channel, too. We're just revamping the registrations, and we're just trying to get people updated. We've made some changes. We are requiring a phone number now. So we're able to either call or text you if we have an issue with something. Um, we also share ours. So don't, don't feel slighted about that. We'll, we also give you ours. Mine's listed in my description. Donna's is in hers. We'll be happy to drop it anytime you guys need it. You okay? Yeah. What happened? I dropped my phone.
Can we see the signature on that helmet? See if we can figure out who that is. Sure, sure. It's definitely a J. But don't forget, it's 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 just minors. He may have not made it to the majors. He right. played the Tampa Yankees. Looks like maybe Jose or mm, maybe J. Jarvis. Jarvis, it's yeah. Almost like it's an S at the end. It's Jose uh, Costa. How do you know? <laughs> what was gonna say? Oh my god! Didn't, didn't I say? But wait, didn't I say that with all the confidence in the world? I know. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Came out of the even I'm watching Shriker in the back room. He even <laughs> he even took a step back. Like, wow, Donna Donna knows. Donna knows. That's not what it. I was thinking, though. <laughs> That's who it is. It's Jose Costa, minor league baseball player for the Tampa Yankees. You guys don't know him. Heather <laughs> MC's like, "That's what it looks like, right, Heather? It does look like that." Oh, Saxton. It was not a wild guess. It was a really good guess, I think. <laughs> yeah, Joshua. Hey, Nicole. Joshua, Jason. Yep, you're right. Yep, something like that. Something to that effect. Yeah, but I don't know very many Joshua's or Jasons in baseball. I know a lot more Jose's. Mm, that's true. Yeah, Jason. The only Jason that comes to mind is Giambi, and that's not Giambi for sure. I know his signature. Yeah. All right, are we sold? Sold, sold, sold. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, before I get in the car to go home, and I'll come, I'll, I'll be on the other side of. I'm gonna okay. put you. I'm gonna put everybody on the screen. Wait, 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 wait. I want to make it. I want to show something first. <laughs> Last call, so to speak. All right, Shrieker. What did we say on these twenty? Uh, yeah, that's what we were doing was 20 it's on the 90, 19, on the 61, yeah. 61 with the artist signs, Madden, um, poster, 61 Yankees, $20. If anybody wants, just type it in the chat and we'll put you down for one. And last call for this defiant, what were we down to? 15? Uh, I think we quit at 20, but we can we'll put it wherever 15. you want. We're going to go to 15. First one to type 15 in the chat. Alan Weiss. Aw, thanks, Dragon Smoke. All right, Pam wants to. Thank you, Pam. Um, this is Alan Weiss, 1993, Janet Jackson with Defiant Comics. It is a poster that was put on corrugated cardboard. So the corners are not perfect, the top there. But if anybody likes it and somebody wants it, Pam wants it, it's yours, sweetheart. Thank you, Pam. All right, Donna. That at least gets everything I planned on telling tonight done. <laughs> But um, I will uh, get in the car and I'll pop back on. And I'm, but I'm going to end the stream. We've been on oh. four hours. Oh, so all right. Honey. Let's let's talk about our schedule for tomorrow. Okay. Now, what is it? 
I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what the schedule is. That's why I'm asking you. I mean, you know, Brian's on till four thirty-five. We'll we'll come on after that. Okay, and, so uh, aunties at five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock aunties. Aunties at five o'clock tomorrow night, you guys. Um, what else? That's it. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, everyone that made a purchase. Um, and thank you. I will set up a lava lamp tonight. So if you guys want to come over to lava lamp, Joyce, Joyce can, uh, she wants to know if you can make her a mystery toy lot. Absolutely. Joyce. Absolutely. Make sure you, um, write it down. How much? 50 or a hundred Joyce. Holly's like, yay. Kim, thanks for coming in. Heather, come into Lava Lamp. Come say hello. I'll oh, be sure. Heather. What? She's like, five is a killer for me. Okay, Joyce, thank you. Juice, thank you, Juice. <laughs> what do you mean, good night, guys? Five is a killer for me. Oh, because the kids are back in school. Yeah, you got to get up early. Um, no, I just think she means time-wise, 5 o'clock, us coming on at 5. Oh, yeah. Oh, 5, oh, five o'clock tomorrow night is a killer for her. Yeah. Um, well, we'll try to stay on longer tomorrow. You try to, you know. <laughs> really? You're like the queen. You're like the queen of Lava Lamp. You, like, rule it between you and Frank Perez bringing all the snacks all Jim, the time. Like, you're fried, Saxton. <laughs> right she is fried jim she is so funny um all right it's yeah it's a busy time i know it's a busy time for me too t and i are gonna have to look at our schedule because like i was saying earlier now with the girls starting volleyball i'm not gonna be able to come on at five o'clock either so i hate to like split up the times but we may have to because she doesn't yeah. like to stay late at the um at the store, so I don't know. We need to work that out and we'll figure and, it out. Yeah, and we'll we'll figure it out. Maybe the nights that the girls are not doing volleyball, we can do it early, and then the nights we'll have to do it late. But we'll we'll figure it we'll out. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. I, I have to soften my husband up a little more. Yeah. <laughs> there'll be one. Or, there'll be one or two exceptions where you'll see me at home showing a few lots. <laughs> she wants to know if it's interrogation night. Yes, Heather. <laughs> Why yes. is Mimi writing minus two? Huh? Why is Mimi writing minus two? I don't know. Yes, Heather, it's your turn, Saxton says. <laughs> Clear skies. Frank, go get the popcorn, the peanuts, the chocolate, whatever refreshments you're going to be serving. And we'll see you guys all over at Lava Lamp, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Please don't forget the thumbs up on the way out, out the door, you guys. Thank you so much for all...